Press down five times with your own hand. So one, two, three, four, five. Hey. 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 Gonna get Twilight Syndrome, murder case, truth the dish. Okay, now, now the game just, just threw off my whole flow. Forget it. How's it going, everybody? My name is Jesse Guns. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Dang and Rafa 2, because I, goodbye. Despair. Um, Mihiro's dead. That was Photo Girl. And I'm trying to see who would actually kill her. I don't think that anybody really had a problem with her at all. So I don't know. She might have just been a random death, who knows? Somebody just really wanted to get out. So I, I really don't know an honest reason for someone to want to kill a hero out of all people. But let's find that out now. So before I dive on in, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, leave a like for your girl from social media, all the good stuff, and let's begin. Mihiro Kazumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Toward us and toward herself, she was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahira? Why? That's what I said. Why this happened to her? Okay. The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Hey, Hajime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun, but why? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me. I obviously don't know what's going on either. Huh? What What happened, Ibuki? Okay, she's not even help right now. She's not even help. Now is not the time to make bubbles. Hurry and get the others. Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numb. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return around the time I realized that the others were already here. What the hell is this? Why the hero? That's what I'm saying. Who wanted to kill her? The girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling toward the beach house until the voice stopped them. Hold on a sec. Those things beneath you, be careful not to step on them. Beneath? You know, the footprints in front of that door. There are footprints leading out to the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue, so don't step on them. Hmm, if you mean evidence, yes. Madokuma mentioned it in an announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. Another class trial? Then are you saying this is... Yup. Somebody died. One of you guys killed her. Killed? That's impossible. It's not like an accident or something. If you guys think that's an accident, that still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? That also counts as a legit murder. Though such deaths fall into a gray area on this island, I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. Well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when Monami takes such good care of people. Oh, oh, speaking of which. What? There it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Well, fine, I'm not gonna lose to your bashing. I've decided to become a rough, a tough kid. <laughs> this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. Jeez, it's not my fault. Huh? Who well, then, whose fault is it, you ask? To find out, we hold the class trial. So, let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. Okay, I shall pass out the Monokuma file number two. This should start to feel familiar. Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later at the class trial. Class trial? Investigation? This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? That? I did have the power before he appeared, even if she tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Monami's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. Yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they could only hear about three times that of a normal person. So basically, I have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. I'm just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. Hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Do we have to do it again? That cruel thing, we have to do it again? I cannot believe it, but Hero was killed by one of us. But yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial, seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason my hero was killed. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Because we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. 
Chiaki. Well? The killer has their reasons. I understand that. It was the same for Terra Terra too. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that too. But even so, we should never forgive killing. She usually has her head on her in the clouds. For her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. I mean, Mahiro was not bothering at a soul. Like she wasn't bothering anybody. Like she didn't cause any trouble with anyone. I don't know what this girl could have possibly did to die. So I don't I don't know. Whoever did it need to go down. But that's true of me too. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us to all survive, we must do it. Then let's do this. Mahiro probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. I understand if everyone's doing it, I will do it too, but please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Also, I will go and tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right, if all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. I shall excuse myself for now. Then let's begin. Who killed Mahiro? Why was she killed? We gotta find out and solve this already. That's right, we have to do it, it's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. All right, so now let's investigate. First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. So what does it say? Jesus, dead. Victim is Mahiru Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. The, site, the scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. Huh. The cause of death is a single blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. So we know for a fact that she was clonked in the head, so we gotta remember that. Around 3 p.m., that's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then if we had just gone to the beach house instead, no, now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then I'm going to find out the truth behind Mahiro's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. Okay. Monocool file number two has been added to the truth bullets, okay. So I know for a fact that it wasn't Kazuichi because he was with me the entire time trying to be like, you know, a stalker. So I know that it's not him. So let's look at this bat. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahiro with a blunt object. That object is this metal bat, right? This metal bat. Yep. Huh, it's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Well? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in this game during the fourth day. I remember that. That girl was killed with a blow from a metal bat, just like Mahiru. Hey. Did you did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about the metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it. But did you play it too? Oh yeah, she. You know she did. You know she a gamer. You know she did. Then I'm sure you know this, but. The case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind the hero's death, you probably need to solve that game's mystery too. But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game over, but were you able to beat it? I'm not some girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. So what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. So it's okay to say that this metal bat is absolutely a murder weapon, right? Well, it got blood on it, so I'm thinking yes. Okay, so let's let's look at everything else. Let's see, there's a lot we could look at. Okay, um, what is this mask? What is that? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods? Regardless, why is this even here? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um, a gaudy mask? That mask? You've seen this? Sunwitch S for Ita? What? It is a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country. An anime that has a viewership of over 90%. Is Sonya's country really all right? Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that's true, could it be? Could it be what? Like, say something. I am sorry. Please give me some time. For some reason, it's unknown, so you're rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm, for Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. She being too ominous. Like, I'm gonna need some, some information here, okay? Why is this open? Hold on, why is this, why is that open? The closet doors have opened. The last time I came here, that wasn't the case. That's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here, too. So what's in there? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this is a pretty spacious walk-in closet, but there's so much crap on the shelves and floor, only one person could stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Okay, so only one person could be in here. Oh, wait a minute, I see a Marakuma doll. 
I see I'm on a Kuma doll. Thank you. All right, there we go. We got another one. I need to focus on this investigation, Jasmine. Okay, so let's look. So there's scuba stuff. Flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies too. There's not much else that can be related to the incident. Okay, so nothing over there. What is this? Is this surfboards? There's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves, even surfboards in a surfboard case, but that's not a proper way. That's not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed into one shelf and some boards have been left out instead of being put in the case. And there's also an empty surfboard case as well. How careless. So somebody was surfing then. That means somebody was surfing. Huh, there's something on the floor. Is that a what? This yellow thing, it's a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? Okay, um, my theory of who was in this closet has to be, it's, it's leading towards Hyoko. It's leading towards Hyoko because she's the one, I remember that she got into an argument with Akane because Akane said that she doesn't eat real food, she eats candy all the time. So, the gummy might belong to Miss Hyoko. So I need to look at Miss Hyoko. And she was running away. Hold on, she was running away too. She was running away crying. But why would she kill her? I don't know. I don't think that she's the killer. I think that she's, she has something to do with this case, but I don't know if she's the killer. I guess that's the only thing that caught my eye inside this closet, huh? Okay, so let's leave then. Wait a minute, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me go back in there. Let me go back in there. Let me go back in there. Let me go back. I remember that Miss Sonia, when we looked at her bathing suit, it looks very similar to these, okay? It looks like she was in a wetsuit for surfing. And it seems like somebody was surfing over here. But that does not explain the gummy candy that is right there. So, Miss Sonia and Miss Hyoko are of interest to me right now. They are. Because there's stuff in the trash. Maybe there's a clue inside the trash can. That's what I thought, but only... There's a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. Huh. I guess it's not that easy, huh? So there's a bunch of empty bottles in the trash can. Hmm. Okay, there's lots of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Does people take out a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left in there look either sweetened or colored. They look unhealthy. I'm looking at everything, y'all. I'm, I'm telling you, everything is suspicious to me. This is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction, something like that. That's right, the shower's being repaired so water won't come out. But what What about hot water? Well, that's impossible too. If the shower's out of order, then isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry. <laughs> just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me, so I never got around to fixing it. What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? Anyway, it's all Monokuma's fault. Everything is all Monokuma's fault. Your doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice. You must have read my mind. Think what you want of me, I'm already giving up. But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help with that. What help? You're doing the opposite. Oh well, anyway, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order, but I guess I should check inside too. Huh. So can, can I look inside? Can I look inside? So can I go? Okay, there we go, so now we're going. All right, there we go. Oh, Akane. This is a really nice, really spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you could also use it as a dressing room. But changing it in the beach house is for forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. Huh. Okay, so let's talk to you, Miss Thing. Guess no one's in here. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't have been that easy. So let's see. There's a vent up here, though. There's a window, it's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it, but I can't seem to take my mind off it. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window. If that's the case, yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What, are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking a killer might have escaped through there. All right, I got it, I'll pitch it and help you out. Huh? Come on, give me a piggyback ride, I'll check the window for you. Pitch it and help, it feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. If you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. She's really into this, no matter what I say, it's not gonna matter, fine, I'll just leave it to you. Don't worry, my panties are clean. Girl, I hope so. Don't be down there. 
Don't don't have it dirty down there, okay? Keep it clean. I see, that's good. I let out a deep sigh, then bent over under the window. All right. As she shouted, Akane jumped onto my shoulders. Oh! Uh-uh-uh! Uh-uh! Hajime! <laughs> I mean, look at her. I mean, she's gonna be. Yeah, cause I'm so buff. Exactly. Like, every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscle. I like it. A massage, huh? Huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Right. Yeah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. I think that there's a problem there, but we're gonna come back to that. I shouldn't have asked. How's the window? Right. Hmm. So that's what happened. What? Did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. Right. Check it out. Check it out. Check out what? I'll give it a try. And with the cane on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. Oh, it opens. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Wow. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. Huh. Oh, my head can fit through, no problem. Then okay. It's not impossible to go in and out of that window. Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. Akane jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is, how are they able to reach that window? Even if I jump, I can't really reach it. But if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Uh -huh. Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? <laughs> but even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as the step stool would still be inside. But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh? Really? Yeah, like, a freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja could climb fences and walls no problem, right? Just as I thought, it looks difficult to go in and out through that window. What the heck? And I even took the time to lend you my wisdom. You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help. It was such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. No, I didn't. Well, it's not like the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. So, someone can get in and out of that if they had help. I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in the shower room. Huh. So, they're saying everything else is not important, so let me leave. I'm gonna piece this stuff together. Y'all know I will. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. Is this really the energetic Mihiro I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this life, this body to the high spirited Mihiro, but we don't have time to just wallow in sentiment. Huh, there's no way I could just stand here. I slap both my hands onto my cheeks and face Mihiro's body one more time. Mihiro's leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned on that to the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe my hero tried to run away when she was attacked and crawled to the door. Evidence can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor. They're streaked as if she crawled through them. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. Huh. Okay, so that's been updated. So let's look at... There's a lot to look at. Jesus Christ. There's blood stains on the floor, and they're streaked as if she crawled through them. They're probably streaking when she's trying to run during her attack. So she used all her energy to crawl away. Okay. Got it. So that's that. Huh. Is there anything over there? Okay, let's talk to Gamer Girl. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? You know the footprints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints and show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey. Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. At first, I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open. So I went around and tried to go in from the beach side door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mahir's body was blocking it, right? Mm. And that's when I noticed those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Now that you mentioned it, Pekko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be? Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe. Is that really true? But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Then, whose footprints are these? It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. 
Huh. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? It's probably an extremely important clue. Hmm. I guess I finished investigating all I can, but there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why Mahiru got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Huh. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat, that's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. That, there's no way that that's just a coincidence, right? Huh. Actually. It's a missing link. Hmm. Missing link, if that's the killer's motive for the killing this time, then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus a person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me, which is Chiaki. So, I should ask her about it. Huh. So let's talk to you, girl. Hey, Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I finished investigating once through. Then let's go. Go? You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. So, let's go. Yeah, you're right. Huh. With Chiaki leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never, I never expected that person to be waiting there. Who? Hello there. Here go this mother- Who let him out? Who let him out? Who let him out? Who untied him? Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagato? It feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this, even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Hi. Why are you here? Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, Mahiro got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing. But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right, no matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. Though I do feel bad for Mahiro, this is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? Looks like you have feel no remorse, like at all. As usual, he's acting so crazy, he almost pissed me off. So why are you here? Who told you about Mahiro? You don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Monami. It was me. Why did you untie Nagato without anyone's permission? Did I do bad? I just want everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. But fighting among friends is what Madakuma wants you guys to do. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monami is taking a, uh, making a valid point, too. You have no right to say that. But now's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for my hero, right? right? That's right. That's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma. Enough. Enough already. Just go away already. Understood. Oh, poor, poor Monami. She's, I, I think she's really just trying to help. I really do. Nagato, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. True ending? So although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I will try to be useful in my own way. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I would always be on the side of hope. So that, that didn't answer our question. But, you know, all right. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, this situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it. Hajime, let's just move on and start the game. She, you're right. She's like, forget about him. Let's go. Okay, so let's get to the damn game. Even if I do play this, I might get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiaki if there's a walkthrough for this game. Okay, so is there? Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? I feel like I'm gonna repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? When you get a game over, that's a walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? You should have seen it too. You know, that thing that displayed on the game over screen? Is that what? Down five? Oh! Oh, are they telling me to do down five? Like press down five? That's right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. It means you have to press down five times. Oh. Oh, okay. Then the hidden command is you just have to press down the... Okay, got it, got it. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So, that's the trick. Just expect it as the ultimate gamer. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just you either get it or you don't. She said either you got the clue or you're a dumbass. Which one are you? <laughs> In fact, Nagato got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so let's go over there and press down five times. Okay, so let's see. It's kind of like I'm doing like a little cheat code for this game. I like it. I need to press down five times on the title screen. All right, let's do this. Press down five times with your own hand. So one, two, three, four, five. Hey. 
Hey. Hey. Gonna get Twilight Syndrome murder case. Truth the dish. Okay, now now the game just just threw off my whole flow. Forget it. Forget it. This is the real game. Twilight Syndrome's murder case is Truth Edition. I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. It'll start if I press the options button, right? Okay, so let's do that. Okay. We open with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the incident, one of the five girls, girl E, is murdered murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first day and third day, you'll be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? I think so. I'm on the case. <laughs> now then, let's start with the first day when it all began. Okay, cool, let's get into it. All right, first day. Hey, hey. I'm sorry, I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're gonna go home late because we had to wait for Slowpoke Girl A. <laughs> Come on, Girl B, you don't have to be that mad. Oh, hey, don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. I'm not your friend? What? There's no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. Ooh, girl, those fighting words. <laughs> The way girl B treats people, even loan sharks looking to collect would get sick to their stomachs. Is girl E here yet? Apparently she forgot something. She told us to just wait a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen. Stolen? You don't know? A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. You should be super careful, girl A. A chubby weakling like you makes a perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girl A is getting really scared. It's fun to bully girl A. What is up with these girls? What was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. It sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go. All right, so let's go to the second floor then. These girls are mean. These girls are mean. Let me go ahead and hurry up and go to the second floor. So let's go. Huh. Anything happen? What happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now, and then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. Hmm. You're right, it's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Um, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge to get the key to the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. I found the key, nobody was there. It was super easy to get. Then let's open it right away. Okay, so who's in there? Okay. Girl A, you lead the way. Me? Come on, hurry, hurry. Okay, so let's go then, since y'all making me go. So who's in here? Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, somebody got knocked in the head. Okay. This is, she's not laying down. She's dead, dead? That's impossible, why? Yeah, she's dead. Lower your voice, they might still be nearby. Nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered, huh? Seriously, shut up. What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should I do? Oh my god, I see, so that's what happened. I found it, the killer's escape route. Escape route, could it be? They went out the window? The window is broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escaped outside. It looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out the window? But if they just wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why'd they have to break it? They were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. Hmm. The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Huh, oh, so I get truth bullets in here too? Okay, broken fish tank. Okay. It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer using the hallway? 
But is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you'd have to either lock it from inside the music room or use the lounge key. When I get to the music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge, so the killer wouldn't have had time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room. Also, to get outside from the music room, they'd need to have passed this by the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by, which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Huh. Killer's escape route. Is this related to the window that's in the, the beach house? Okay, let, let's see. It's probably the pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds, huh? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole girls' E swimsuit was also murdered that girl over there. They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but she ended up resisting. So they frantically tried to get away, broke the window, and escaped. Huh. A swimsuit. Huh. Stolen swimsuit. I'm really thinking about Sonia right now. I don't know why, but I am. Isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this and the killer still might be around. That's bad, uber bad, we better hurry up and run. But don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. So they gone, they like, you're not about to pin this on me. Yeah, it'd be the best if we left this room. We How we found it, just lock the door, leave everything how it was. Wow, so we really gonna leave it. Please wait, don't leave me. So we really gonna leave this girl here. Wow. Okay, now the third day. Okay, girl D. Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to meet here. Don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. Uh, what happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. Huh? On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom as I was going home. On the day of the incident. The next door classroom. And I couldn't help but take a picture. What do you think these broken vase pieces mean? Hmm. That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What is this? I, I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously? I don't know anything. It's okay. I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girl E? Are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not. That's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You do. You didn't say anything either. I knew you know. I knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent. So she, I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Don't tell me. You, that bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first I tried to talk to her, but that bitch started to... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, it's just funny that they keep saying it so much. Like they're saying it more than I do. I started talking shit about how she tar targeted me next time. So I felt a sudden rage. And before I knew it, I was choking her. And then she lost consciousness, but things would have been worse if she woke up. So that's why I had to do something about it. That's, wow. It's not my fault or yours. It's all her fault. Whoa. So she just confessed to the crime. Wow. Okay, and she put the photo there. That bitch, girl E, was it? <laughs> Where it is she was with her on the day of the incident. Huh, everybody's just throwing bitch around. Looks like she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This vase is... Could it be the sound of breaking glass? Was this actually this? If it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? That bitch. <laughs> what the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did that, I will never, I will never forgive her. Oh. Huh. It's like I gotta piece together what happened with all the days. Looks like this is the end. That's right. That's the truth edition. The incidents, first day and third day are depicted yep. in it. Yep, now you filled in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey Chiaki, what do you think of the characters in this game? You mean like girl A and girl B? Their names make no sense and they have no romantic chemistry either. No, not that. While you were talking, it looks like the ending staff role started. Staff role? You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it properly. What I want to know is on the staff roll? What is that? The credits? Oh, Monokuma. Monokuma. Okay. Monokuma. Got it. Monokuma. Uh-huh. Monokuma. Got Monokuma. Sound. 
Monokuma, Cass, Su Sumi, Sumiki, Koizumi, Hiyoko, Miyota, oh, those, oh, wait a minute! Why is Kuzuryu's name twice? Why is, why is his name there twice? See, didn't I tell you? What you want to know is going to be on there. Miracle. Congrats, Miracle! You have finally beaten Twilight Central Murder Case. Now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should already know. That's right, that game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. Is that true? By the way, non-fiction means an original story based on historical facts or records. Hey, answer my question. But even if this is non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helped. The school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Our school life? At any rate, congratulations. Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm, going to, I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing this game, I won't give it to you. Ending prize? There was only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. Who? How disappointing. Did you say ending prize? Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Man, I was too late. If I'd known something like this was gonna happen, I would've played the game sooner. Huh. Ending prize has been added to the truth bullet section of your handle. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's his name had that? Babyface, Babyface had an envelope. So that was the ending prize, maybe. So I need to go talk to Babyface, because he got that, he got that. That's what I need to talk to. The ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Madakuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. Just as I thought, so it's connected to that this time too. But is it really, is it really true? We are already living our school lives and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Apparently it is, because that's what happened in the first game, so yes. Then what did they do to us? It looks like there's something on your mind, huh? Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten this game. But that this game is non-fiction, that it is the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So how, do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about it that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. You're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. That's right, if I get some information from them, I might find out about something. About the mystery behind my hero's death, about whether the game is true or not, and if we really had our school memories taken away. Then let's hurry and ask the others. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be the characters in the game. Also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see, thanks, that's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if you just stand here. All right, let's go. I oh, need there. to, oh hell, here he go. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki, we meet again. The timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? Ah, so you caught me. Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys, it's okay, just make your point. There was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? Why, the characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case of all. The girls must be busy with their investigations too. It'd be a waste of time if we both question them, no? If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. What should we do? Huh, guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. So, I gotta go to the damn airport where everybody's at. I wanna talk to Babyface. Babyface is who I wanna talk to. All right, let me check on my pet though, because I feel like my pet has been neglected for a few days. Oh, oh, you're, you're still good. You're still good. All right, all right, so let's go back. All right. Everybody gather around! <laughs> Hajime, over here! Oh god. Mikan, Ibuki, Hyoko are all here. The names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome murder case were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sai Sionji, Miyota, Sato, Kuziryu. Wow. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Sorry. So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm too so incompetent. I apologize. Huh? It's okay to be absent? I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Executed? I mean, you said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? We came because you told us that. Sorry, that was a lie. A lie? You tricked us. What the? I mean, did y'all really expect something else from Nagato? I mean, come on. Come on. Fine, then I'm leaving. Can you wait until we finish our business with you, right, Hajime? This is like I'm on the same team as Nagato. So, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. So let's talk to you, girl, because you were crying before. That's not fair. I can't believe you actually tricked us so we'd come to this place. I have nothing to say to impudent, regular people like you. Regular, huh? She's right that I might be a regular guy, but I also have an ultimate talent, or at least I should have one. 
Um, so, so you're not gonna talk to me, bitch? Oh, okay, okay, so she really not gonna talk to me. Okay, she not gonna talk to me, all right. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Mikan? No, since we weren't gonna play that game. Also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow and I panic instantly. Her timid tone, I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with Mihiru? Relationship with Mihiru? I first met her when we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And after arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, but could it be? Did Mihiru hate me? That's definitely it. She hated me. She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated me, for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Invite? Um, Mihiru invited me this morning. This morning? She was very serious and she was wondering if we could all meet up so she could discuss something. But I already had plans to go to the beach so I had to decline because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she was scheduled for another day. But if I only went with her, this wouldn't have happened. Aw, it's not your fault, baby. Don't, don't feel, don't feel sad. Mahiro invited Makan? Why? Huh. And what about you, Miss Music Girl? Hey, Buki, can I ask you something? Bring it on. Have you played Twilight Syndrome? Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars. I'm pretty sure it's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy. There was a character like that in the game, too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mahiru? Huh? You mean that in a pervert way? No, a, a normal way. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mahiru was... Oh, when I asked Mahiro this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this real disappointing face. A disappointing face? Yeah, but disappointment varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with department store rooftops. Let's say focus on Mahiro, okay? It turns out Mahiro had some business too, and she wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans, do you know what she meant by everyone? Nope, I didn't ask. I see. So she invited her too. Why? I see. It looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies. Based on that, it seems like Mahiru also beat that game. Why do you know that? You don't know. If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen those people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> just like what we're doing now. But in her case, it was much more serious, probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. Mm -hmm. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mahiru would play that game. It's true. That was unexpected. Nagato, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Mm -hmm. Huh? What? I remember. Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. me. Temp, that's a rude thing to say. Yeah, that's that's disrespectful toward Mahiru. There's right? no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At what? At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. That's all it was. What the heck? But more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hiyoko. Hey. So, if Mahiru spoke to everyone that appeared in the game, she should have talked to you too, right? Well, Kyoko, she never talked to me at all. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask such an easy question. So, I'm just gonna go back to my cottage now. Hey, Hiyoko, ignore my voice. Hiyoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. She's avoiding something, and I'm, a, I'm gonna figure it out. Because there was, some, there was a gummy bear in that closet, and I feel like she's the only childish one to eat that shit. So, I feel like I need to talk to her and Babyface, both of the children. Mommy needs to talk to the children, okay? Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Regardless, it looks like we're finished here, so why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. I'll see you again later. Hey, what the heck is this problem, even if his exit was pushy? Chiaki, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over to Mahiro's cottage first. Her cottage? If she beat the game, it's best we investigate there, I think. She might have that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Mm. Huh? That's your cue to say yes! Okay, you know what? Whatever. So let, let's just leave. Let's just leave then. Okay, wait a minute. This side to the very back, she said. Okay, so can, damn, can I go? All right, there we go. So let's see. Over here, she's the only one that has red hair. So let's go. The door looks unlocked. And moving after you're told would be two-third rate, so I've made sure to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no-no. There are other students who want to investigate, too. Okay, I guess I should go inside, so I can't take anything, but I can look around. Okay. It looks like every time someone dies, I get to go in here to their room. Compared to my room, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting throughout the room. That proves Mahiro was here, but she's not coming back. 
Huh, then I should try looking for a naughty book. Why? Now, now, I was only kidding. Kidding, are you that kind of person? Well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? But it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on top of the bed. On top of the bed? Oh, so she has one of those too. Oh, but there's a Monokuma doll. Hey, I got it. I think I caught all five of them too. I'm saying caught like it's Pokemon. I, I, I mean, I mean, he would be a Pokemon. He'll be a dangerous Pokemon. <laughs> There's an envelope on top of the bed. Could it be? This might be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat that game. What's inside the envelope? Let's find out. I turned over the envelope and what came falling out was a few photos. This photo. Somebody killed me. Somebody killed me. Oh my God. So now, now we see more school life photos. And it has Mikan, Ibuki, and Hiyoko. Huh, so y'all were friends. Uh-huh, okay. It's just like that game. There was a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight's True Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because girl A was late and girl D tried to cheer her up by taking her picture. Is this the photo she took? Huh, so y'all were all in the same, y'all were all in the same class. Look at this photo too. A broken vase. Is that the same photo Girl D showed Girl E on the third day? As I recall, a broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. Huh. Broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. But this photo is more shocking. As Shioko showed the photo to me, I was stunned into silence. Huh? Hold on, hold. Oh. Hold on. Who is this? Um, this is an actual photo of a dead body. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like it's in the music room. If that's the case, could this be the photo of the first victim? What? You mean it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day? Yeah, the one they blamed on the pervert. Oh, who the, what? And this is probably a photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. I mean, it nearly matches her body in the game. And there's no mistake, this is a photo of girl E. What the hell is going on? With that, we finished looking at all the photos. So based on all these photos, yeah, it seems pretty clear this is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for beating Twilight and what's depicted in these photos. Proves that Twilight Syndrome murder case is based on an actual murder. Does that mean the stuff about our memories being stolen? Huh, what's this? Is there something else? There's a note inside the envelope. Try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. What? We'll talk then. This note. Huh, maybe the first person to beat the game and receiving the ending prize wasn't Mahir. Someone else sent this to Mahir. And that person is the one who actually received the ending prize. I think that it is Babyface. It has to be Babyface because I remember him having an envelope that looked like that. It, it's him, it's him. It's him, it gotta be him. Mahira wasn't lured there by Nagato. She also received this envelope, and that's why she played that game, right? Then the person played this game first. This envelope looks very familiar, and the word sister written in this note. Based on these clues, I can't think of anyone other than him. Baby face. We gotta go to baby face. So let's go. Hey, hey. Yep, I'm glad we came here to investigate because we did that. We discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. There's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mahira, but there's not much time left. I need to hurry. So. Let's go to Babyface. What's he doing? We gonna go to his cottage. We gonna run up in there. Oh, here you go. What? What? Hajime and Chiaki, what a coincidence. If something happens twice, third time's a charm, so they say. What coincidence? Are you a stalker or something? Oh, no. Don't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my investigation. Results? Did you find something? I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes. Bitch. I'm not looking shit. What do you have? Either say it or don't, okay? Because I feel like I'm piecing it together without your information. So what? Just kidding. I was joking. Yeah, you better be. It didn't sound like a joke to me. Well, it's about the footprints. The killer left the footprints in front of the beach house, right? Did you find out whose prince footprints those were? If you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you? Of course, you'll come with me, right? I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, but if I can get a clue. What are you gonna do, Chiaki? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to talk to Fuyuhiko and see if he can tell me anything. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave this to yep. you. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. If someone like me tried to talk to him, it'd be impossible, but it might be different with a girl. Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. Yep. I guess this is where we part. I'll see you later, Hajime. What? 
Huh? Did you actually want her to stay? Actually, what do you mean? Oh, no. Let's go. I'll head on to the beach house and wait for you there. Man, I wanted to go to talk to Babyface, man. Damn it. All right, that's gonna have to wait then. All right. And let's go back to the beach house. Oh, something with my with my pet. What's happening? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I'm gonna clean it. Oh, oh, did you just lay an egg? Did you just lay an egg? And you're, oh, you wanna give me something? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. What the hell? Okay. Um, we're gonna clean that. What the hell is that? So, all right, so they just left the egg in. All right, so they just left me, kind of. All right. <laughs> oh, Nagato. Whoa, why the hell are you here? Why, hello there, Kazuichis. Thanks for going easy on me earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think like an ultimate. Um, this bastard. You two have arrived at a good time. Big news, I've discovered something very terrible. A terrible discovery? Um, not only that, I believe it's nothing like Sonya, but there's something I noticed too. You too? <laughs> yep, this is great. Looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. So, let's talk to Miss Sonya. What do you have, ma'am? Listen, I have big news, huge news. What's the big news? Remember that sun, es sun witch Esper Ito mask that was next to Mahiro's body? The mask the killer used to hide their face. No, that is not correct. That mask was ju not just used to hide their face. Then what was it for? Sparkling just, what? Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and self-professed ally of justice whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear fewer masks at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals. Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. The Sparkling Justice character, that's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? Is that true? The mask we found in a hero mask, but it is a heroine mask to be precise. Sun Witch Esperito is a pretty witch girl. See, a heroine. Anyway, so you're saying it's possible that this serial killer is the one who killed Mahir, which means there's a serial killer hiding among us? I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some video game. Yeah, I know. We know which one it is, the one before this. This is stupid. Serial killer might ass. The killer used to, to cover their face. But even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonya, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, oh. I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. Oh, the hell? Justice complete. This okay. Justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. Well, go ahead and say it, girl. That would be me. Sparkling justice. Okay. What the heck was that? That is Sparkling Justice's catchphrase. An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase? A I read it in a magazine in the library. There has only been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However, However in the end, that journalist was punished by Sparkling Justice too. No good can come from getting involved with the serial killer. The serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Um, this is all I know about Sparkling Justice. Thanks to the mask, nobody knows their true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that kind of a stretch to say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group? No, it does not mean that they're in our group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder Mahiru. That's probably not possible. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. That one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Sonia, I do understand Sonia's feelings, but it's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. I don't think so. I think it's highly likely that somebody is hiding on this island and they're a serial killer and hiding, so. <laughs> you have something to say too, right? Well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I get it, so just get on with it. Um, I tried to bet my best to perform the autopsy and I was able to find out Mahira was definitely killed by a blow to the head. She was probably struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. But every dark cloud has a silver lining, as they say. It looks like Mahiro didn't suffer. What does that mean? Um, there's no doubt that she died instantly. Aw, oh, her death was instant. That sounds a little strange. I think it'd be better to remember that. Huh. So she didn't crawl. So she didn't crawl, she got hit and died and fell over. I also have to talk to Akane, I feel like, because Akane was covered in blood when she was on the beach. 
Everybody that was on the beach, I need to talk to, okay? Everybody that came from the beach is suspicious to me, all right? So, hey. And there's another thing I found. I'm sorry I started talking on my own. Were you busy right now? Just tell me. Um, during the autopsy, I discovered this in Mahiro's pocket. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if I change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30 p.m. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Hyoko? Oh, Hyoko, this letter. If this letter is real, it would mean Hyoko met up with Mihiro, right? Plus, Mihiro's estimated time of death was around 3 p.m., and they met 30 minutes prior. If we think about what the implies, then... Oh, I'm starting to get confused. If it's true, what does it mean? What happened between Mihiro and Hyoko? Huh. I knew she was hiding something. I knew it. I knew she did. I knew it. Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out whose footprints those were? Actually, how were you able to find that out? After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in to everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages? Yep. I told Monokuma I needed access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. That bastard, he did something shady again. No. But why did I do something like that? Well, I explained my reasoning to you. Nagato squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. See? Come on, Hajime, take a look. After all, I went to the trouble of gathering all this. Look at Hyoko's little circles. She has a little circle feet, a little tiny feet. Okay. Peko, Hajime, Hyoko. Okay. Those footprints. I see. So the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was yep. to get the shape of their shoe. Ah. Uh. But unfortunately, Fiohiko wouldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that the footprints belong to this person. Whose footprints are they? Hyoko's? Oh! Hyoko's. To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. So she shut herself inside the cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak Perhaps. in. So I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. But it was totally worth it. The footprint I collected there was smaller than anyone else's. It matched the footprints at the beach house. Yet, there's no mistake, those are Hyoko's. Huh. So they're Hyoko's footprints. Also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting at her cottage. Something interesting. See? I fa See, look, I knew it. I knew it was her damn gummy bears. I knew it. Her childish ass. I knew it was her childish ass. I knew it. Well, I, I, I don't know if she's the murderer, okay? Let me, let me say that. I don't know if she's the murderer. She was in the closet. Wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay, wait. Maybe she witnessed the murder. Maybe she witnessed the murder because she was running away from the beach crying. What did she witness? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave it alone. They're gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. It looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently, she really likes those branded gummies. There should have been other gummy brands, but she only bought home a bunch of these. People are like that sometimes. There are people who eat only the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. What's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. Just in case. It probably greatly relates to this incident. Uh-huh. I need to talk to Hyoko. Oh, damn it. Damn it, I need to talk to Hyoko, damn it. The time for unparalleled hedonism has come. I need to talk to Hiyoko and Babyface. Now is the time to fight the decisive battle. The mm. hostility of fresh blood. The insanity of a contest of wits. The class trial is finally raising its curtain. Damn it. So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock. All Once right. you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. Got it. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Got it. Okay. <sighs> Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and killers hope will finally clash. But it's all right. Either way, hope will win in the all end. Right. Now then, let's go prove it. What's he so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting, I have to make my case there. There's no escape. We have no choice but to pass forward. Now then, let's go. As we talked among ourselves, we left the beach house in the hero's body. Oh, what's up with my pet? Did it hatch? Did it hatch? Hello? Oh, okay. It's, it's start, is it starting over again? Maybe I should give it that. Maybe, maybe I should, maybe I should give it that. Okay. 
All right, so I got one heart now. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, here we are, Monokuma Rock. Let me go, help me. He's gonna do something crazy to me, I'll be ruined. Hey, shut up and say put, you stubborn little Lolita. Hey, stop harassing little girls. This is what's going on. Hiyoko was trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her here by force. But Hiyoko is still trying to run away, so Monokuma is trying to wrap her in a full Nelson. Hey, if you don't stay put, I'm gonna make you a part of this island's food chain. Yeah, just stay. Making me waste my sweet ass time. <laughs> but there's another problem to deal with besides this one. Where the heck is Fuyuhiko? That guy, he totally ditched. He totally ditched my appointment. He pisses me off. Oh? What the fu- Oh my god. Oh my goodness. His anger changes four. I'm right here. Huh? Fuyuhiko, you came. I was worried about you. There's nowhere for me to run anyway, so no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still, I'm a Yakuza. Accepting defeat is not an option. For you, Hiko, what does that mean? Well, it's all good. If the trial heats up, it's all good. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here, so let's depart now. I'll go first and be one step ahead of you guys. Crap, I'm not mentally prepared yet. Do you even have to prepare? If you don't have enough power, harness your latent energy. Come on, bring out that energy. So it begins, the beginning of the end. Now then, let's keep our spirits high so we can one day find that shining hope. That's right, I can only, moving forward is the only option. I am not ready for this. I feel like I'm not fully prepared. I don't think I am, I don't think I am. No matter how many times I see it, it's such a bad taste. The worst, the lowest, most brutal taste. Somehow I moved my muscles stiff from fear and nerves and awkwardly walked onto the escalator. For some reason my breathing was short and I was eventually struck by a feeling similar to dizziness. The moment all of us were inside Madukuma Rock. Huh. Jesus. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I don't have all my clues yet. A rumbling sound filled the room and the surrounding space began to fall. Huh. Aim. Defeat the boring routine. So I've decided to start redecorating. How's it look? Mr. Madakuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? It's not like I allow you to think otherwise anyway. To go to the trouble of doing something like this elaborate, really, what is your true intention? We're no, no. nothing really. Essentially, this killing game is just to kill time anyway. Kill time? To break away from my purpose, that alone is my purpose. A purpose is only gonna be a weakness. Those who have purpose are always the weakest ones in a bunch. That's why you guys should forget about such cheap ass purposes like trying to survive and enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your hearts. Man, I'm not ready. It's starting, the class trial is starting. Mahiro Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. That person that killed her is one of y'all mother is among us. I don't wanna believe it, I don't wanna believe it, I don't wanna believe it, but. Man, regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Jesus. Because it's the only way. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there's no other way for us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. Oh, so this is how I get, this is how I get skills. All right, so this is how I get skills. All right, so, let's see. Uh, what is downshift? Reduces your aiming speed. Effective during the non-stop debate. Uh, let's see, I have 24, Jesus, I have a lot. Let's see, set my skills. Set my skills, let's do that. Let's put that there, let's put you there. And let's put you there. I think that, oh, and that. I think that's all of them. There we go, I put my skills there. And I'm, I think I'm good now. All right. Let's first discuss the motive. Okay. The masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Mm. What? Who cares about that game? It's a link. The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Correct. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. Okay. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Obviously. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. Oh, well, let's go. Twilight Syndrome murder case is it's a real. fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game, too. And y'all know who some you are. characters in a video game? Uh, like you are now. <laughs> well, I think it's better if we clarify 
more like y'all are mini game characters. The characters in the game were girl A, girl B, girl C, girl D, girl E, and boy F. And the high school girl who got killed at the beginning. Mm-hmm. By using the staff role after clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who's who. Huh. The first character the player was able to control was girl A. The true identity of girl A is probably Mihiru, right? Girl A has a timid burst. Oh, 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 okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Damn, I can, look, y'all had so many letters, I don't know. Okay, that's Makan. There we go. Girl A was Makan. Okay, there we go. Girl A is probably Mikan Tsumiki. Yes. Because you were timid. Yeah. That definitely sounds like girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff role, I can't think of anyone else who would be girl A. Right. Oh. <laughs> she said copyright. <laughs> My body is copyright. <laughs> A nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. And you need to stop being a bitch. I don't know what's up with you. Yeah, we heard that in the game. We did. Uh huh, you in there too. She's right. The one who said that was ha, the high school girl who died first. No, um, was that girl D or girl B? Girl B? Okay, yeah, okay, B, B. There we go. B was short and foul mouth. She's probably Hiyoko. Yep. Yep. Of me. Look in the mirror, girl. Anyway, let's move on. Mm -hmm. Next is girl C. Correct. Girl C, her personality is hyper energetic and unique. Oh, we know who that is. That's Ibuki. That's Ibuki. That's my girl. I like her too. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl mm -hmm. C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. Look at her. Somebody died and she's making puns. Look at this girl. <laughs> let's move on to girl D. Right. Girl D, there's only one person who always had a camera with them, which was Mahiru. Mm-hmm. Girl D is Mahiru, the victim in this case. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. Gotta be Fuyuhiko. That is Fuyuhiko. I yep, I know it. I know it. Aren't you Guy F, Fuyuhiko? F for Fuyu. I should have known that too. F for Fuyuhiko. Should have put that together. I was in a game. Yep. That's fucking stupid. Oh, you know you was. That reminds me. Right. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? That's gotta be his sister. Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. Uh huh. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi. It gotta be his Sayonji, sister. Miyota. Cause he mentioned his sister before. Kuzuryu. And then another Kuzuryu. Mm hmm. Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryu? Cause they're what? Not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Right. Since you beat the game. You probably know mm -hmm. what this actually means, right? He did beat it. The reason for Yuka's last name Kuzuryu appears twice. It's true, I have a hunch, but to call out like that. Nagato, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. The reason for Yuka's last name appears twice is because he had a little sister. I can prove it. Yep. There we go. I'm oh, on it. Guy F. Kuzuryu mentions that he has a little sister. Right. Uh huh. What do you mean, little sister? This uh huh. Is what said in the game. Hmm. That bitch. What the hell? It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. And Fuyuhiko said he had a little sister. The sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuryu appeared twice. Yup. What role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? Huh. You probably noticed, right? Huh. I don't really want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. The only character in the game I could see being Fuyuhiko's little sister is the girl who died at the beginning. Yeah. The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game. Mm-hmm. The only person I can think of. Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, what did they do to my little sister? Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that girl E is not his little sister. So mm. if the only person left is the dead high school girl, yep. then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? Oh? That's a winning personality, you got there. <laughs> winning personality? Are you praising me? Oh, Lord. You're being sarcastic, dumbass. <laughs> 
You said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means it's real. Who you Hiko's little sister is. Dead? I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. Um, it's, it's kind of messing game. with reality. Definitely based on true events. That's right. Mm. Don't go making shit up, bastard. If oh. The type to die easy, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. What? I mean, when I first what? entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual. Uh huh. Sent me off. Uh, it happened just the other day. What? About what? Probably thinking like that because you lost your memory. So it felt like the Shut other day. The fuck up. You be quiet. Oh. I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Ah. Uh. Okay. I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Hito, <laughs> you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? I don't. He, uh, I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't have enough evidence to say that he is. Mystery that easy would make me feel sad. Right. You wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. Mm -hmm. That's why. I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Right. Hey, you're starting to act weird again. Anyway. I mean, he has a point. That's too easy. The characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Uh huh. Girl B is Hiyoko. Mm -hmm. Girl C is Ibuki. Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy mm -hmm. F is Fuyuhiko. There we go. The first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, mm. is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just mm. a story in a fucking game. It's oh? Me. Then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? Oh? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? Huh? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Right. It's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. Oh really? What the heck? Is that a wild connection? It may be an ordinary family name, but mm. it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. <laughs> and he also has a strange rivalry going on. No one cares about that. Who right. Talk about the mystery of the game. Let's huh? get to the relevant stuff. What do you mean, mystery of the game? My my, you don't huh. know. I heard that girl E got killed. Huh? What? No way. Yes. Is that true? Yeah. Why why are we going through this? Why? I like hello. The game is the murder of girl E, correct? Right. Let's hurry up and solve it. Let's first figure out why girl E was killed. And by who? The reason girl E was killed, I should be able to assume why based on the content of the game. Um, because he was a sister. Um, they witnessed the murder. Was it that? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. No, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. So it wasn't that she witnessed the murder. No, no, no. Oh, God, God damn it. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that. Fuck, man. I am. I am choosing all the wrong answers. Girl, E was the killer. What? The reason girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Oh, wait, I was getting it mixed up. I was, all right, I was, all right. I thought that they were saying why was the first victim killed. I, all right, that's my bad, so. Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. Right. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're mm. fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But, but, but it, right, is is that true? Oh, girl E, she, she killed the first victim. Ah, to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. Right, the murder that occurred in the music room. Hmm, I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Hmm. Oh, so she made a made okay. A of the music room surrounding. Which was the stage of the first case. Mm-hmm. Sorry, y'all. I'm just gonna look at this for a little bit. Girl A, B, C, and D. They were over there. There was a locked door. There was a water tank, the victim, and then a broken window. And there's a broken vase over there. Did the person go out the window, then go to the other classroom over there, and then come out? 
Maybe? I'm surprised you went huh. this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Hey! Classic dungeon Caller RPGs have a first person point of view. Uh huh! So if you play as a basic. We get it! Yeah! <laughs> Let's talk about that later so we they can like, focus on the case. They like, get on with it. Okay. Then, I'll start explaining. Girl okay. A, girl B, Girl C, and Girl D were mm -hmm. in the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Right. They climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Mm -hmm. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor. Right. She confirmed that the sound came from in there. Mm -hmm. The door to the music room was locked. So Girl mm. D went to get the key from the office. And when the five of them were finally able to go inside. Right. Then that's when they found the first victim. The victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Right. Because the music room's window was broken, mm -hmm. the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, right. the girl East school swimsuit was stolen, so they mm. concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? <laughs> yep, an understandable okay. explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. Like, it sounds like he's being very sarcastic. But I know that he's not, because she is. She is the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. It's just, it just sounds like sarcasm, but I know it's not. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Hmm. Girl E was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did hmm. she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. But she couldn't have got it. Girl E was hiding that key. You can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But huh. Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? Right. Way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. Right, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, is there two you keys? Lock the music room from the inside, right? Mm -hmm. So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped and sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting as she tried to do that. Then, hmm. forget this. He's like, forget, forget what I'm saying. Old guy sulk. Oh. Hey, is girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that girl E, who was waiting in the hallway, is the killer. Then, what did girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? I guess they need to clear that up first. I think that she exited out and then came to the other room. Huh, let's see, the broke, I think, I think it's the broken, the broken vase might be it. Maybe. After she killed the first victim in the music room. Uh-huh. What did girl E do? She just let's broke see. the window in the music room. Uh-huh. And escaped outside. Right. So how did girl E get from outside the school? Back inside. In front of the music room. Hmm. To go back to the music room from outside. Uh huh. You need to go through the entrance hall. Huh. Plus, at the entrance hall. Uh huh. The other four girls should have been there. Hmm. At the entrance hall, the girls. Yeah. The sound of the window shattering. I don't think it was that. It was the it was the bass. No, that's wrong. It was the bass shattering. Cause that's broken. First I'm getting it. <laughs> the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. If right. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? The bass. The bass? How low can you go? Oh my After god. The, murder, <laughs> the open bass was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. Right. The sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. Nope. It was the sound of the bass breaking. Probably. Uh-huh. Actually. The murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Mm-hmm. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, mm -hmm. broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, huh. she locked the music room from the hallway. Returned it. to the office, and huh. went back to wait in front of the music room. All huh. she had to do was break the break base, the base. In the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. To make them think the murder had just occurred, and that the killer had just escaped. Wow. When the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, Girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. Right. I see. 
now the mystery has been solved. Oh, she sounds so sweet. The mystery <laughs> hasn't been solved yet. Uh huh. We determined what the murder weapon was yet. The murder weapon. What about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was. No, <laughs> cool. I went to all the trouble of making this death march. What? You gotta stick with it to the end. What the heck? Right. That's so annoying. I don't like. Right, come on. Let's figure out the weapon. If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. Do you need to? What do you eat that you have to shit all the time? What? What are you eating? Beans? Like, come on. These beans don't feel disgusting. <laughs> the disgusting one. And you're the main one. The weapon is pretty unconventional. The answer was revealed in the game, though. What is it? The fish well, tank? Then, will you guys be able to figure it out? Was it the fish tank? An unconventional weapon that also appeared in the game. If we're told we can't advance as long as we don't make that clear, then I have to do it. I'll do it. What do you think the weapon is? I have no idea. Was I out of line just now? Now then, there's something I need to tell you regarding the white noise and the non-stop debate. Some lines of white noise are actually very durable. You won't always destroy them in one shot. Durable white noise will chip away every time you shoot them with the silencer. But unless you completely destroy them, your time limit will not be replenished. By the way, if your difficulty is set to gentle, okay, whatever, I don't have that. All right, so let's go. Apparently, he has a skill that can increase the power of the silencer. Gun something, I wonder who it is, so. Gundam could and do that. Okay, so I could get the skill from Gundam. Huh. All right, so I could get the skill from Gundam. All right, cool. The broken fish tank, I think it's that. So that's that's what it is. Let's see. Uh-huh. What about broken glass? Uh-uh. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Yep. Then she attacked her with the fish tank. Uh huh. It's too big to be a weapon. Let's see. The piano. Mm hmm. No, that's not it. Why are you going even bigger? <laughs> the investigation conducts universal chaos. <laughs> it's on that big a scale, too? Okay. How about beating her with gravel instead? Huh. If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death. Right, I don't think it's gravel. It should have had blood stains. Was it. Is it the broken fish tank? Oh shit. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. Ignore me. Ignore me. Okay, so let's get to the finish. Because I didn't even finish it yet. Okay. Hmm. She beat her to death with her fist. Hmm. An unconventional weapon. Apparently, it appeared in the game, but a weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Huh? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Hmm. Then she attacked her with the fish tank. Let's see. It's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Let's go to the end. Investigation. It's on that biggest. And say. If it's a weapon that was. It should have had blood. Let's see. She beat her to death with her fist. That. Oh, God damn it. I don't... Huh. Maybe it's the swimsuit. Oh, maybe the swimsuit would have the... Would have the uh, the swimsuit on it. Oh, I mean, the blood on it. I'm sorry. So, let's see. Maybe it's that. That. Damn it. No. Okay, okay, okay. I got that wrong again, man. Damn it. Weapon inside the music. What okay. Isn't the cause of death thing she attacked her? That's too big to bend the piano. Why are you going even? Huh. It's on that biggest. How about beating her with gravel? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get that out and then let's hit that. I agree with that. There we go. Okay, so let's agree with something. Sheesh. Man, it's always these bullet times that mess me up. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. Hmm. My goodness. I got it right. <laughs> And I was just throwing things out there. <laughs> she wasn't even trying. I'm chosen by the gods. You're not chosen at all. And gravel is impossible. It's too small to be a weapon. It's unconventional. Put inside some sort of bag. Huh. Right. Something that appeared in the game. And so is the bag. And the only thing I can think of is a swimsuit. Huh. You tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff it full of gravel. Make an effective weapon. That is that I would not even think of that. I would I would not I would not think of that. <laughs> Gravel inside the swimsuit? Mm. Even the ace attorney would be <laughs> astonished by such a fantastic idea. Ace attorney, hey! 
It's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. Uh huh. To make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. Right, to make it seem like it was a dude. It was used to make an improvised weapon. It has to be disposed of later. Hmm. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? Are you? The happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved. Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy. And you're the producer the of the game. The important talk begins now. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. Mm -hmm. That person was actually Girl D. Oh? Girl D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? Mm. Mahiru is the accomplice? What is this? Mm. What does that mean? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Uh huh. Girl D got rid of it. Because she took a picture of it. And apparently the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Mm -hmm. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found yep. out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. And she mm. felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. But she mm. should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. She probably made her unconscious by accident. By accident. And from there, she couldn't go back. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty scary. Right. Girl Lee was also killed by someone on the fourth day, or the game's last day. I might uh. as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? I think that the only person I can think of is that guy, which is Guy F. I see. Right, which is Fuyuhiko. It should have been Guy F. Mm-hmm. I would never forgive her. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning, hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. Yes. Guy F is... Fuyuhiko, baby face. It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? What you That's do, Fuyuhiko? you can say. If that game is telling the truth, uh -huh. it'll be a huge problem for you. Hey, hmm. clear this up for me. Those of you who appeared as characters in the game, do you remember this incident? Right. Yes. I'm terribly sorry, but, but this happened in their school life because their memories were taken. Their school memories were like totally stolen. I know. I remember, I already know. It's obvious that guy is the killer. No hmm. one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko. Oh. And Mahiru were killed by that guy. Oh. Should be talk a lot of shit. <laughs> you used to it by now. Oh. Mahiru's murder had anything to do with that game? Perhaps the two are unrelated. Right. No, the game and Mahiru's death are probably related. In actuality, there's an important shared point with Girl E and Mahiru's murder. Huh. I don't know what it is. I don't know. A shared point? Oh, I'm sorry. This. There, we, there it is. That. That's what it was. Maybe. Oh, God. Crap. Okay, God, God. Okay, I thought that it was that because they were similar, but I guess it might be this. I can prove it. I feel like that one could have been two answers. Okay, I feel like that one could have been two answers. Are unrelated. At the very least, the killer has definitely played the game. Right. As proof. Uh huh. Who was killed in the beach house? Hmm. And girl E who was killed, killed in the, the same way. Killed by a blow to the head with a metal. Plate. See, look, I chose this photo because it looked the same. But you know, I feel like that could have been two two right answers. No but whatever. Can ignore that connection. Thank you. They, all right. Someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way they avenged the first victim. Hmm. Why don't you confess already? Oh. You're the one who killed Mahiru, right? You better cut that out right now. Oh. There is no way a stupid game could be the motive. You huh. to believe that stupid game, and that's why you killed her as revenge. If you mm. keep making up your mind like that, we're just going to go around in circles. Yes. And it's true, Fuyuhiko may look suspicious. Hmm. Don't you think that'd be too obvious? Too obvious for this game. I mean, there's a possibility that it's a trap set by the true killer. Oh? Trap? What do you mean? To make it look like it was him? He played that game. And most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. Huh. Person could be using that knowledge to try and set him up. Are you saying that huh. a completely different killer murdered Mahiru and used the game motive as their cover? Isn't that hmm. what happened? Oh! Don't you understand? Huh. 
I'm saying you might be the true killer. Cause why were you running away? Why did we see your footprints? Oh really? And now here comes the name calling. That's what you gotta resort to when you pin against the corner, huh? All right, all right. So let's see. Let's get them footprints on the beach because. Nobody has feet like you do. Okay, you got the smallest feet in here. Or the gummy bear or something. Hmm. Now she's coming for her vision. Oh, yeah, you started crying. Shut up. Huh. Do you know where Hyoko was today? At the beach. She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. She definitely was. Uh uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You liar. You liar. Nobody got footprints like yours. Wait a minute. Uh huh. You been at the beach house, Yoko. Right. Seriously, I told you I didn't. And you're lying. These footprints in the sand in front of the beach house, aren't they yours? Right. I don't have such ugly footprints. Oh. Probably Nikon's based on how ugly they are. Okay, now that don't even make sense. Right. They're not Yoko's footprints. Huh. That's strange. The footprint I collected. They match. Matches these footprints perfectly. Hmm. Collected? Ha! <laughs> you permission to collect that, you nasty guy? <laughs> footprints left in the sand. We're facing away. Right. When the owner of these footprints went inside the beach house, they used a different Which could have been from the back. Uh huh. Yes. You say when that person went inside the beach house, uh huh. The body hadn't appeared yet. The door hmm. was still accessible when they, when they went, went in. in, and wasn't when they left. Right. Something, Something happened in there. Those two events. Isn't that right, Yoko? So what happened? I remember now. Oh. I remember when I went to the beach house. Oh, so you just magically remember. So you. Finally decided right. to confess. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this. Mm -hmm. But going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. Okay. I've heard of that daily routine before. Right. When I went to the beach house, I went there on my morning walk. Did you? If you went there during your morning walk, that doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. But is she telling the truth? So easily right. Done. She's obviously lying. Huh? It's a lie. It could be a Kane. Other people liars. Are usually liars themselves. Oh, please. Lying, prove it. Can you even prove that I'm lying? Yes, you were crying, bitch. There's no way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that. Oh, yes, we could. Let's go. Don't try me. Don't try me. Let's go. Let's go, man. You was crying. Let's see. Huh. Letter. The letter of Mahiru. Yep. I did go to the beach house. Uh-huh. But only during my morning walk. Hmm. I didn't go any other time. Uh huh. But then you didn't meet up with Mahiru. Yeah. The beach house. Yes, you did. <laughs> Obviously not. Yes, you did. Saying I met up with her when I never even saw her. Huh. Is this a panel of idiots? You did. Hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Yoko says she never saw her, but she is that really true? No, it's not, because she's lying. Her little lying ass. So let's go. Let's see. Oh, wait! Hold on. Okay. God, man. It's the it's the it's the freaking it's the letter. It's the letter. It's the letter. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. There we go. Let's get that. And let's hit that. Thank you. God. I know I know it's the letter, man. Y'all not gonna tell me it's not. Y'all not gonna tell me it's not. During your morning walk, huh? Will you still claim that after you take a look at this? Because the letter said 2:30. Uh huh. At 2:30 p.m. Yep. That letter. It's the one Mahiru had, right? Yes, it is. So Hiyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by hmm. exchanging letters with her. Hmm. What is that letter? Hmm. I'm serious. I don't know. Oh, really? Oh, you remember? You remember seeing her cry? We met up at the diner around 3 p.m. to go to the beach. Uh huh. Saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3:30 p.m. Right. And you were crying. 
So if she met Mahiri at 2.30 p.m. Killed her. Then ran away after you. Huh. I think 3.30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed here. Huh. I don't think that she killed her, though. Also passed by the diner for Yuriko. Right. So you should have seen Hyoko too. I know you did. No, I didn't. Oh. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I went huh. straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. Huh. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. It's right. The truth. Deal with it. Just oh. It would be a waste of time to question him any further. Hmm. That letter in Kazuichi's testimony says it all. You were meeting up with Mahiri at the, at beach, the beach house. Seriously, I don't know. I didn't even write that letter. So why were you there? I'm telling the truth. I really, really don't know. Now she's crying again. Now she's crying like a baby. Why were you there? Crying? Like God. She's probably faking it. We can mm. assume she summoned Mahiru with the intention of killing her all along. I don't think so, because she kind of needs Mahiru to tie up her dress because she said that she can't do it herself. And, she, and Mahiru actually offered to do that. So I don't think that she would kill the only one that could help her to do that. So I don't know. That's why she wrote a letter to let her know where to meet so the others wouldn't find out. Mm. And then you went ahead to the beach house, hid yourself in a specific place, and waited for Mahiru. The closet? The closet. Because there's a gummy bear in the closet. The only place I can think of where Hyoko was hiding is probably that place, right? Okay. I got it. I got it. Select the suspicious... That. That place. There it is. <laughs> the place where Hyoko was hiding. Uh-huh. Are you talking about the closet? Yes, uh-huh. That's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the evidence. Because you're the only child that you want to eat that. Your favorite candy is gummy. Yes. What's a gummy? Oh! I've never eaten something like that before. So she just be lying. She just lies the whole time. The true character of this mystery. God. Who summoned Mahiru to the She's just a liar. She inside the closet like a familiar. Ha! When she saw her chance, she attacked her like mm. an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. Mm. Yoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Right. That, she was only able to leave from the beach side door and ended up leaving, leaving the footprints. <laughs> we have presented the proof. My hmm. four dark devas of destruction didn't even need to come out. <laughs> it's a trap. This is obviously someone's trap. Who's someone? Huh. Whose trap is it? Right. It must be that one person. Oh. You know, the one with the mask, maybe? Oh, yeah, we still didn't figure that out. We still didn't figure that out yet. Correct. I don't think so. That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. Hmm. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice. Who she admires. Sparkling what now? She gonna go and explain it again. Alright. Sparkling Justice is hiding on this island. Legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru. I believe that. If you continue to say such foolish <laughs> things, I tear you limb from limb. Don't do that. We don't need that Gundam. Sonia, it's just a difference between cultures. A culture shock, you know? Oh, Sim. Sim Kazuichi. Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? You're being unreasonably stubborn. Get out mm. your head. Oh, what were you doing? Explain why you were in the closet. It's true that Kyoko is suspicious, but there's something strange. Something doesn't make sense. I can't help but feel like we're being directed by someone. Huh. Being directed by somebody. Footprints on the beach, the yellow gummy. Huh. The gummy bag. You had a gummy bag in your room. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Huh. Kyoko is the sinner who killed Nahiru. <laughs> Huh. There's no doubt. Yep. She did. You, you went to the beach house. And weren't you also hiding in the closet? Yes. So that's when you dropped the gummy. Uh-huh. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. I don't know about that. And afterward, 
You fled from the beach house. I don't think that she killed her. Uh huh. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. Uh huh. That's how you left your footprints. Huh. It looks like everyone doubts Hyoko. Is that really okay? Okay, hold on. Now that I think about it, the gummy was yellow. And the flavors that she liked, it wasn't, it wouldn't be yellow, would it? So I don't, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. I shall render my verdict upon this so let's Yoko see. <laughs> There's no doubt you went to the beach house, right? Uh huh. And weren't you also hiding? So that's when you dropped the gummy. So let's get let's get that out and let's press that. No, that's wrong. Huh? I don't think that she ate a yellow gummy. Maybe. About that gummy, did Hyoko really drop it? The only huh. one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. I mean, that's the same thing I said, but then I thought about the color, the the not the color. Well, yes, the color of the gummy. Plus the flavors of it didn't match, so that's why I'm like, huh? You're too, you know. <laughs> You're the one who worries about never getting taller. Oh. Yoko likes to eat gummies, but she only eats a specific brand. Uh huh. The of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors. Right? It wouldn't be yellow. Huh? Huh? Right. Uh huh. That gummy is yellow. It's no huh. The ones I eat don't have any yellow gummies. Oh. That's right. None of the gummy bags in her cottage had any yellow ones. Huh. And we can't assume Hiyoko is the one who dropped that yellow gummy. Hmm. Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap. So why were you running and crying? It doesn't make sense. Who would set a trap like this? I'll get my revenge. Huh. I'm gonna bop you on the head with all my might. Hold on, so, you bitch. Oh. You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Oh. Be stupid. I'm not done backing you into a corner yet. Oh, he said he want her ass. He wants her. He wants her, man. Oh, my God. Okay, so what about... What the hell? Okay, so what about her footprints then? How is her footprints there? We're not done with Yoko yet. Huh. There's still a huge piece of evidence left. Her feet? Right. It's true. That's an important piece of evidence. Uh huh. And we can thank Mahiru for it. She left what it. Does that mean? Right. Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and blocked the door to the road. Thanks to her. Huh. We have the evidence we need. She. What's wrong? Yeah. She fell on it. Footprints during my morning walk. I gotta figure out who's right, what's right, and what's wrong. So we're not done with Hyoko yet. I think it's the There's autopsy. The so let's see. What does that make Mahiru used her last okay. strength and I don't think so because she died instantly, right? So she didn't crawl or anything. So didn't block the door. Uh-huh. Yes. There's no doubt that Mushroom died instantly. Hmm. If you keep making shit up, look. I'll fucking kill you. Look, calm it down. We're trying to figure it out. Sorry. Don't yell at her. You cannot do that. Right. Women. Put him in its place, Sonya. Her death was instant too. I mean, her injury was only a single blow. Mm -hmm. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. Someone else used her body to block it. Huh. The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. Uh huh. There were bloody drag marks left on the floor. So they dragged her but to the door. Why did the killer block the door? Just ask Kyoko. Huh? She's the killer after all. I don't think so. Seriously, that's not true. I don't think so now. I have to assume Kyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? She'll be too small for that, right? If she handled the body that bloody. I think her clothes or skin would have been stained with blood. And when we saw her, she didn't have any blood on her. But when I saw her, she was... She was spotless. She was clean. Right. See? I told you I wasn't done. 
I didn't think you were the killer. I just thought you had something to do with it. So why were you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. We haven't decided that yet. Uh oh. Hey Fuyuhiko, why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Cause she's mean, maybe. I'm telling you, she's the killer. Mm. That little bitch Ooh. is definitely the killer. Oh. Huh. Look. Okay. Now I got to do the rebuttal. Oh Jesus. Okay. Footprints on the beach. Ah. That. Let's see. The... Mahiru didn't block the door. Right. Then Hiyoko did it. Uh-uh. Mahiru and block the door. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. No. Okay, Fioko, Fuhiko stubbornly insisting that Hiyoko's the killer. If I don't counter all of his words, I'll be pushed back. All right. So let's do that. Let's do this. There we go. Bam. Bam. There we go. Okay. So let's advance. Right. She should be covered in blood. Correct. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the after she But we can't body. use it. She just watched the fact that Hyoko was at the beach house can be proven by the footprints in the sand. Did you get all that, you bastard? Let's see. The shower room can't be the shower room can't be turned on. Okay, so let's see. So what, dumbass? Okay. There's a shower room inside the beach after she moved. Alright. Uh-huh. Hold on. Shower. No. Well, yeah, because the shower does not cut on. All right, there we go. I had to focus a little bit. <laughs> Washing it off in the shower is impossible. Uh huh. The shower in the beach house was out of order. Mm hmm. I am terribly sorry. I haven't had any time to actually repair it. Right. Maybe she took her clothes off to move. No. Nope. She, she can't change in there. Put them back on. She can't change in there. I did something that perverted. Right. Hyoko took off her clothes before committing murder. That shouldn't be possible because she can't get... Wait, hold on. She can't get dressed by herself because Mihiro had to help her. Listen to me, Fuyuhiko. Mm-hmm. Hyoko mentioned this before. Right. Which means Hyoko can't change by herself. Uh-huh. It's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes. Oh, yeah. Yep. She couldn't even tie her sash on her own. <laughs> she couldn't take a bath and smell bad. Stink ass. I didn't smell. And it only smelled a little. Oh, it smelled oh, a bunch. Wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place? Thank you, Chiaki. Yeah, if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. He would have killed you. Right. I'm such a right. for the rules that even Safari Park Rangers want nothing to do with me. <laughs> if she didn't change her clothes. Then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? Like a dead She's saying it's not on me. In the first place. Huh. Never touched Mahiru's body. But blood was definitely on Akane's body when we saw her. Hmm. Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? Akane? What's up with you? Because you have blood on you for sure. If so. Right. I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. Ah. Uh. Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? Yeah, I know, but you're looking kind of suspicious, girl, and I like you, so I hope that that is not the case. I can attest to that. If I hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed out. Okay, so he's a witness. Me of all people. I got some nerve. Sorry, baby girl. Right. I'll bend your body in half. I in a bowing position for the rest of your life. Don't, you don't have to do that. I'm Please, sorry. pretty cool. <laughs> well, it does. Hey, more importantly, I'm okay now, right? No. Okay, that I'm not the killer? No. Yeah, seems like it. But why is she crying? <gasps> I already told you. There's no way I'd kill Mahiru. So she was crying because she saw the body, yes. though. Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono. Hmm. And she was very, very kind. See, that's the reason why I thought that she didn't kill her. Sorry, child. Okay, <laughs> please don't cry. Everything is fine now, right? Shut the hell up, Bart. I hope you get a hangnail and die. See, this is why we shouldn't feel sorry for her. This is why. This is why. No, don't apologize, Mikan. 
Don't do that. More importantly, Fuhiko's behavior earlier was definitely strange. Getting so worked up and accusing Kyoko of being suspicious. Could it be? Does he actually have something else in mind? Huh. Now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Right. Even though what happened? Killer, right. Still went to the beach house, right? Spill it. Like I said, it was a trap. Oh. Yeah, I got that already. So. Yeah. Details about that trap. I would mm -hmm. like to know too. It might lead to some kind of clue. Fine. Hmm. You want me to talk, huh? Yes, please do. Earlier this morning. Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She mm -hmm. asked if we could meet up later. Huh? She but didn't huh. She say earlier that she didn't. She never talked to you at all because you'd be lying. Damn it! So that was a lie? Yes. Because I thought it'd be doubted if I admitted it. Hmm. So I figured it was better not to say anything. Look so, at this. What was lying. your answer to Mahiru's invitation? I told her it was fine. Hmm. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Okay. Like everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. Oh. You always have to say something snug. Right, just gotta be At shady. Time, we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but around noon, there was a letter hmm. inside my mailbox. A letter? A letter? Yeah, this one. Says, I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island. The time is still set at the same at 2 p.m. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret until then. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Hmm. So that one says 2 p.m. But the other one says 2.30. I saw this letter and went to the beach house at that time. Huh. The letter that Hyoko had doesn't it clearly contradict that other evidence. Right. It said 2.30 p.m. So let's see. Where's the where is it? There we go. I can prove it with this. Huh. This letter. Doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter Mahiru had? Yes. Huh. Mahiru's letter said to meet. 230. But in Yoko's letter. It said two. Whoa. The meeting times are off. So somebody set this up. Just wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. It would be possible if one hmm. of them said but for both letters to say the same thing? Hiyoko, huh. since you wrote it, what do you think? Like I said, I never wrote right. the letter. How many times do I have to tell you? Huh, it's safe to say a letter was forged by the killer, but which letter did the killer forge? I think, huh. I think the one that Mahiru had, was it both? I see. Okay, okay. There we go. The there we go. Must have forged both letters. The huh. forged them so they can manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should Because they're both the same. Letters, that seems very likely. In fact, if you compare both letters, uh-huh. They're the same. The handwriting is the same. But the times are different. The letters matches too. Like this part. I was going to tell you in person, hmm. but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. This part, it seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. The whole thing, and except for the time. The whole, the whole thing. Until then, let's yeah. try not to see each other for a while. Right. The killer forged both of those letters. In hmm. doing so, they were able to control both of them. And Mahiru to do their bidding. Like a netherworld puppeteer. So mm. they completely tricked me. And then my hero's killer. Tricked her too. Yeah. How mean. Mm. Give me back my hero. She's not coming back, baby girl. I know you want her to come back, but it ain't happening. This is really terrible. Huh. I've offered to help so many times. But the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. You are crazy. It's all my fault. You're crazy. So ashamed of being unreliable. Here Jesus. we go again. Right. We let our guard down. This happened. He starts talking. Just lightly punch him to death later. I'm for so it. Based on what the letter said, you went to the beach house at 2 p.m. Right, Yoko? Mm -hmm. What's most important is what happened afterwards. What on earth happened? Right. I fell asleep. What? Right. It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. Did they hit you with a with the cloth thing where they make you go to sleep? Medicine? What? What? What they call it? Like chloroform or something? They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. Wow. You were aware of that from 
the start, you should have done something about it. What was she gonna do? What was she gonna do? Relock it up with what? I was inside a small closet. Oh. I rushed out. I I saw my hero's body. Ah. That's why you ran. And that's why you ran out and crying. I was scared. I was really, really scared. Really scared that I couldn't help, but but just run. It's okay. It's okay. We got it. Frame Hyoko from the start. Huh. For that reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiru. Put her to sleep. And shoved her inside the closet. So their reason for blocking the door with was that she would have the footprints. Yoko leave her footprints as evidence. Dad, the killers be thinking about everything, like everything. This is like, like fully premeditated murder. My God. Everything she has done to frame Kyoko as the killer. Yes. That's horrible. I didn't <laughs> do anything wrong. But call everybody bitches. Okay. Yeah. Yoko, please, please don't go. cry. We believe you. Right. Is it really okay to believe her so? I know you don't like her. She might be faking those tears, you know. So I know. If you keep being so suspicious, isn't that what a class trial is all about? Yes. The only way to survive is to be suspicious. But I mean, to make this it go faster, like, like can we stop? Each other. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're mm. wrong, Nico. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. The class trial Correct. is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. The uh -huh. killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Two Jesus. hopes clashing with each other is poetry. I'm getting tired life. of him saying hope. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That's what a class trial should be. Seriously, which side are you on? Himself. I'm on the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. And mm -hmm. I believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash. Like, Lord, Respect take a drink every time this man says hope. But pray, and you do not yearn for your life or even for victory. Jeez, I wish mm. you'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he said. Right. <laughs> stop. Believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. He's like, stop paying attention to him. We need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. There should right. be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. So huh. let us believe Hyoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yep, yep. Okay. The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job. Hmm. That's the right way. That's the splendid power of teamwork. Hey, what do you think of that, man? Oh. I'm not going to let you have the outcome you want. <laughs> oh, he's asleep because he's bored. He's sleeping. He's bored. Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. Mm. If you're stupid enough to trust each other, the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. Oh, the bitter truth. That may be true, but even so, we can't just stand around here all day. Even if what lies ahead is a cruel ending, the only thing we can do is move forward. Because unless we reveal who among us is Mahiro's true killer, there's no way we'll survive. Oh, this is another break? Is there intermission? Oh, okay. Intermission. All right. All right. Resume. Well, now that we've huh. decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer now we gotta really figure out who the killer is. A trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you hmm. the letter? No. It was probably the gummy. To make it look like it was her. It can be a clue? Hey, when you hmm. woke up, was the gummy already there? Right. Now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Oh. Just as I thought. Sales place Just after. If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away mm. if she found it. Which means the gummy was placed after she the left. After Hyoko fled from the beach house. The killer mm. returned to the scene of the crime after I left. They wouldn't mm. have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible. There's nowhere to hide. I the shower room? The shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there. Huh. Yeah. Does that mean the killer came back? Hmm. They had I to. Wonder. Maybe. Anyway, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. I'm trying to figure it out myself. I want to play a new game. Is that what you're thinking? If so, we prepared the perfect product for you. You will dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer from several questions. It's called the logic dive. During the logic dive, you will control a version of yourself created from an image within your brain. Your task is to reach the goal, the final destination of Synapse course. 
You can move sideways with your left stick and accelerate with the R1 button. Press the O button to brake and the L1 to jump. Am I freaking racing right now? Like what? There will be various obstacles you will encounter as you progress through the course. So make sure you're familiar with these controls so you can reach the goal. On your journey, you will take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump into walls. Also, upon reaching a certain point, there will be branching questions in the course. The answers split into different paths, so please proceed down the path of the answer you think is correct. Branching questions will appear several times in one course. Please be careful. I highly recommend that you make good use of the break. That's my meddlesome advice to you. If you press the options button, okay, I can see the controls. What? She's right. This might be a very important problem. The killer tampered with the evidence after Hyoko ran away from the beach house. When did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? Think. If I just focus and think about it, I'll sure be... If I just focus and think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. All right, I'm going to do it. So, am I going to have a brain blast like Jimmy Neutron? What the hell am I doing right now? What the hell? What the hell? Okay. Okay. All right, so let's go and out. Uh, what this game has all these different little mini games inside the trial. No wonder the trial is like freaking hours long because I'm doing stuff like this. Good gracious God. Okay, let's let's keep going. Let's go. All right, question one. When did the kill? Whoa. Well, when did the killer arrive at the beach house? Before, 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 before they arrived. Before they arrived, right? Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so we're going, we're going, we're going. All right, let's keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. There we go, we are on a time limit, so I gotta, I gotta be careful. Oh, I missed that one! Oh, okay, question two. When did the killer leave the beach house? Um, a after, after Hioka left? After Hioka left? Yay! Okay, cool. Looks like the blue ones might be like the right answer. I don't know. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I'm getting scared. Okay, there we go. Let's do it. There we go. Got that. Okay. Now let's keep going. Question three. Where was the killer hiding while Kyoko was unconscious? The beach or the beach, the beach house? The beach house? Maybe? Yay! Okay, cool, 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 cool. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. There we go. Okay. Got it. That kind of was fun. That kind of was fun. So, okay. Do you think the killer might have been hiding? You hmm. spent all that time thinking just to say something <laughs> so pointless. <laughs> disappointing. They had to wait that whole time. There was nowhere to hide. Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Oh. Personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. Exactly. She went to back to being mean. Place for them to hide. Place you didn't look, Yoko. Uh huh. Saying, stop being annoying, or I'm gonna make a Kai bop you on the head and shut you up for good. Oh, really? I really don't want that to happen to me. I need to answer by any means. Okay, the place where the killer was hiding, the place where the Kyoko hasn't looked, is. There, right? Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You you did. You did say it. You did say it. The only other place would be in there. Oh, she was there with the with the with the surfboards. She was probably hiding in the closet. Oh. That's where I was locked up. She was there. You woke up. You said you rushed out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. Right. But could two people even hide in such a small place? Without and the little yeah, surfboards. Make sure to arrange a hiding place. Right? Because those were moved. If the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place in advance. I can only think of one place. That's right. The place where the killer was hiding inside the closet. It had to be over there, right? Here. Okay, cool, cool. So we got that. We got it. What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? Uh huh. The shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? I think so. Yeah, it was. Two surfboards were stacked on the. Uh huh. Top and there were surfboards that weren't even in the case. They, they were, were open. open. I remember that now. Secure a hiding place. Uh huh. I been on this island that long, so the closet shouldn't have been that messy. I think. Hmm. The killer is. The 
Man! Close to me during that time? Goodness gracious, the killer was just ruthless! Look! Quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to me. It's kind of like in for a penny, in for a pound. Oh my god. But don't you mean it's always darkest under the lighthouse? Why do we need these metaphors? I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. The killer hid silent. The killer just lying there. They finally left the surfboarders. Wow. I agree with that as well. Wow. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If right. Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had Then it would have messed up everything. It messed up their plan. Huh. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house. Watching Hyoko. That is creepy. That is creepy. Alright. Uh. If you don't want to friggin' get punched. Stand still and let me punch you. Why you gotta punch him? Shut up. Then grit your teeth. What? Hey, Akane, it's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Huh. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? Hmm. I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. What? A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. What are you talking it's about? A story about men from the future. Right. Time. As I recall. The body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Correct. Is the killer also included among those three or more people? Ah, oh, yeah, ah. That's true, but, uh, well, uh, something like that is hmm. basically what it's supposed to be. You don't say Could they be? Articulate. Jeez. So. Pretty annoying for noticing something like that. Huh. I it sounds like an excuse. But the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. Well, we're using it, so. To create a fair trial, it's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So. so you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but. But we can still use it. on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Huh. Well. As long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. So, is it a yes or no? Like, three people just like it's taking so long. Jeez, fine, fine. Yes. You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? Thank you. Well done. Thank you. So I know that it could include the killer another time. Which Thank you. Means three people other than the killer discovered hmm. Mahiru's body. But I know one of them was Ibuku, Ibuki. I'm sorry. I just thought it was somewhat strange. Hmm. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. Uh-huh. went on a tangent. Uh, um, we were just saying hmm. the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And right. after Yoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, hmm. before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. Who saw it? The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now right. That you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. Hmm. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. And they're talking to me, right? Let's they're talking to the me. Argument, shall we? Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. So let's try to find some truth in this. Okay. Huh. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Right. Maybe they simply washed it off. Huh. They couldn't use the shower, right? And they could not. Because the so water doesn't work. Would have been impossible. Uh-huh. They didn't have to use the shower. We're on a beach. Uh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Oh. Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. Ah, Sonya was wearing a wetsuit. Something other than the shower. Hmm. What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? Right. They cut it up and flush. No, I don't. I don't think. <laughs> Someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare. Now that's definitely clogged the toilet. Yeah, that wouldn't happen. Huh. What? Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. Hmm. Maybe they were able to wash it off. Huh. 
if I use that person's opinion, I might be able to break through that contradiction. What did the killer do with the so let's see. see. They couldn't use the shot, so washing it off. They didn't have to. Hmm. Well, what about the wet? Maybe they wore one. If they used something other than the shower. Let's focus on that. Oh damn it! Okay. Okay, let's do it again. Let me focus on that. Let me focus on that part. Maybe they were able to wash it off. Hmm. What did the killer do with maybe they simply Okay, so let's fast forward. Let's fast forward that. Let's see. Let's hold that. There we go. Let's keep that. Let's get to the end. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Let's get to the end. And then do this right got it no, got it we got it jasmine jeez jeez <laughs> if they just needed to wash off the blood mm -hmm. they didn't necessarily have to use the shower they could have just as easily used something else something right other than the shower <laughs> like what <gasps> oh hold on hold on hold on i just thought about it i just thought about it the, the, there was a lot of water bottles inside the trash can so they could have used the water bottles to rinse themselves off i'm really thinking y'all i'm really thinking they could have used the shower to rinse themselves off so now okay now that akane has been cleared of her blood that was on her body I know it's not Chiaki because Chiaki didn't have any water on her and she didn't even get to the beach house yet. So the only other two people that I've seen since then was Sonia, who was covered in a wetsuit, and what's her name? The sword girl, Pekko. Sonia and Pekko are looking very suspicious to me because Pekko was drenched. She said she was swimming. Is it Pekko? Because, hold on. Is it Pekko? Because the only other two there. Okay, so Sonia had her wetsuit on. And I was thinking that she could cover people, cover up the blood in her wetsuit. But if she washed, if the person washed it off using something else, and there's a lot of empty water bottles in that trash, then it could be Pekko who washed it off her body. Cause she was, she was wet when I saw her. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let the game tell me more information. Something other than that, it was the drinks, the drinks inside the refrigerator. Drinks inside the refrigerator. Uh-huh. the killer used those to wash off the blood? Yes. Oh? Oh, you look kind of suspicious to me, so what you got to say? Why? Huh. Huh. Hold on. Hold on now. Because she was drenched when I saw her. Let's see. The, tra the trash can. There we go. Hold on. Let me get, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me cut your words, okay? I need to get the freak. Oh, damn it, I passed it again. I passed it again. Okay, sorry, sorry. I know what, I know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to the trash can, okay? There we go, there we go. Let's get that, let's get that. Now we gonna get you. Now we gonna get you with this truth, okay? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not about to, uh-uh. Thank you, thank you. I can't assume they use just one drink. Right. Could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. Yes, because of the trash can. I say it was impossible. There were no, there were only flavored drinks with colored dots. If you use those, huh? Drinks, the blood won't come off in your body. It will leave an aromatic smell. Especially that okay. Let's get. Hold on. Hold on. I I, I cut it on accident. I cut it on Didn't accident. It okay. Let's see. No that. It was in a trash can though. It was in a trash can. And you were drenched. There were water bottles inside the refrigerator. Uh huh. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. Because they were in the trash. Right? But 
before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And right. The took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. Uh huh. So saying the water bottles were gone because they were all used. That's a logical fact. I mean, it's there. Look at the trash. Should have been evidence inside the trash can. Right. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Uh huh. Right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Correct. Now that you mention it, uh huh. I went to the beach house a few days ago. I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Oh. You should have said so sooner. Right. The plastic water bottles were used in place of a shower. Uh huh. Dancing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. Huh. Hold on a sec. Now I think about it. If they soaked their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, the person would be wet. Would be wet, bitch. Hold on. Just as I thought. He knows. He knows too. Hold on. Hold on. You, you know who the killer is? He knows. Is that true? And I know. Ask, who might that be? Pecco. Because Pecco was the only one that was wet, bitch. Hold on. Hold on, was it you? How dare you? How dare you, bitch? How dare you, bitch? How dare you? How dare you? You're the only one wet. Is it you? Right. Hey, what are you Why are you being quiet? For? They're accusing you of being the killer. Hello. I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? You was the only one I wet. When we were all right. To go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. Huh. You were soaked. Uh-huh. You look nice, but you were soaked. Uh-huh. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there was yes. no house in the beach house. And it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. Uh-huh. You said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. And that might have been a lie. Just stay silent. Don't be silent like Kyoko. Hold on, you bastard. You oh? saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? So maybe she really was swimming. Oh, why are you defending her? Swimming. Right. I saw her. Oh, did you? Huh? What? After I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. Oh, so, really? So there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold hmm. on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? That you weren't there? So why is everybody lying? Why is everybody lying? I you just making this more confusing. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. Right. Are you trying to die? Not so fast. It's too soon to decide she's a killer. Then why is she say anything? How the killer was able to leave the beach house. Now that you mention it, you No, they they can get out through the window. And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints, oh. then how the fuck did the killer escape? That window. Why are you all fired up, for you, Hiko? Mm -hmm. You're not the suspect. Pekko is. Unless his bitch ass helped. Unless he helped Pekko. Unless he helped Pekko do it. Hold on. Okay, now, now, now. Now I'm thinking again. Okay. He might have helped her do it because Akane said that you need somebody else to basically get up there like they could you could have had an accomplice to help you get up there and in and out and he was so dead set on he was so dead set on um Hyoko being the killer earlier because she's a mean bitch so he probably could have helped Pekko set up Hyoko to blame her as a killer and let Pekko go, but why? The thing, the thing that doesn't make sense with that is why would Fio, Fuyuhiko want to die? Because he would die in the end and not Pekko. That doesn't make sense to me. So, who, you know what? No, never mind. Let me just stop. Let me just stop. Who cares about that? Answer me. If you have an explanation, then show me what you got. Hmm. We might have an answer. Oh. Do you really? This mystery seems unsolved. Huh. If Echo is the killer, then 
I might just have an answer to that mystery. Oh, go ahead. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, sitting on your shoulders. How the killer escaped. Hmm. The killer's escape brought him. I know what that is. In fact, the only possible thing I could think of is that small window. Right. If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, mm -hmm. the only other thing I can think of is. Is that. Nothing really. Except that small window in the shower room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. With some help. But, but what if, right. She got help from someone. Uh-huh. If I ride with someone's shoulders, mm -hmm. then that person would have been left behind. Is it possible mm -hmm. an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? Huh. And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside. Ha! Of course not. That would violate the school trip rule. Exactly. Littering is not allowed, so we can't littering just do that. Is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see, right. there's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. No. No, they could just use an object. Uh-huh. Don't fall asleep on us. We just said they couldn't use an object. You did? I thought you were saying. Right, you couldn't you dispose of one. Object. I see. Hmm. You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. And you can use that thing, her 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 sword that man is Pecco. It's Pecco. It gotta be. Everything's pointing towards her. Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, no. remember? It wasn't hiding. It wasn't hiding. It's on her back. It's with her 24-7. It's with her 24-7. Even if the killer used an object to escape out the window, they wouldn't have been able to get rid of it. So the only thing I think of that the killer must have hid it somewhere, if that's the case, focus and think. The object the killer used to escape out the window was on her damn back the entire time. Okay, her sword. Right? Hold on. What the hell? Okay, I didn't know the the shit. Okay, hold on. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Okay. Her. A sword, right? A. A sword. That. Sword. Oh, shit. Okay, so it's not that. What would it be? Oh, so so B is the first letter. Her bam bamboo sword, bamboo sword. Is that what it is? Bamboo sword. Yeah, it gotta be. It gotta be bamboo sword. It gotta be bamboo sword. Bam. Yep, bamboo sword. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. We getting somewhere. We getting somewhere. Bamboo sword. Bam. Now I need another B. I need another B. Okay, there we go. Got some B's, there we go. Bamboo, need some O's. There we go, get the O's out here, there we go. Oh shit, damn it, I put it away, I put it away. Okay, there we go, there we go, make that go away. Bam, bamboo sword, all right. So let's get that out the way, bam. Let's get the S, there we go, need a W. Need a W. Let's get that W, let's see. Let's get that there, bam. Let's get that, bam. Oh, oh, damn it, I had that, I had that saved too. I had that saved, there we go. Bamboo sword, duh, I need the D. I need the D, pause, 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 pause. pause. It made me mess up, there we go. There we go, let's get that bamboo sword on her back, on her back, there we go. Yep, it was Pekko, it was Pekko, man. You carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? Right, so you wouldn't have to hide it. Oh, correctly. You had it then, too. Uh-huh. You did have it on your back. I remember. Despite I remember. Mm -hmm. You're still wearing your bamboo sword. Right. Uh, are you saying she used that bamboo uh -huh. sword to escape through the window? Yes. Pekko used that bamboo sword as a step stool. Yes, she did. The uh, sword as a step stool? You see? Uh huh. Oh, a ninja. <laughs> a ninja could have climbed that easily. I kind of you're amazing. A climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a Oh. 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 Just like a Japanese ninja. Mm. So ninjas only exist in Japan. So she didn't get help from Fuyuhiko. It was actually herself. 
right. What you gotta say? So. Hold on a sec, you bastard. Oh. She used her sword as a step stool. Uh huh. Out the fucking window. Then what about the sword? Can't she just pull it up? In the shower room, and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass. Unless you helped her. Why do you even care? Right. Shut up. Just shut the fuck up and answer Oh, you helped her. Okay, so then I, I bring back my I bring back my statement. I think that he helped her, like I said at first. Huh. As a step stool, it would have been left behind. So you, he go, why? Why are you? So come on, be, ignore him. Ignore him, man. He's the one that helped. He's the one that helped. Come on. Come on. Obviously impossible. Come on. He did it. He did it. It's all right. It's all right. I don't have time to talk to you, buddy. There we go. Ah. Uh. It's okay. Hey. Hey. I'm good at tempo. I'm good at tempo. I'm good at tempo. Oh, oh, I missed a little bit. I missed a little bit for dancing. I missed a little bit. Need to concentrate it. Yes, I do. Okay, there we go. There we go. Bam. 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 There we go. Ah, 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 ah. Yes. Okay. Got one left. Gotta get that. Gotta hit it. Gotta hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Gosh. Ah. Ah, ah, there we go. If she okay. Used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been, been left behind. Let's see. Ba the what? Bamboo sword. Oh, I was trying to figure it out. Oh my god. Okay. All right. There we go. Shut up. Shut up. Huh? Don't fuck with me. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get it. Okay. There we go. Okay. Bamboo sword bag. Right? Okay, there we go. The bamboo sword bag. All right, there we go. Huh. If she used her bamboo sword as a step stool, mm -hmm. she could have recovered it with her sword bag. Okay, so he didn't help then. All right, when whatever. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, mm -hmm. she tied her sword back to I was thinking something completely different. Okay, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I was thinking something completely different. Wow. And after she climbed huh. the tree, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her. Right. She would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. Mm. Oh, I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag too. Wow. She used them both to escape. Wow. I said she's like a ninja. But it's nothing as silly as that. She's just really good at being a sword. Could have performed this feat. Yep. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. Mm. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater plan. Man, why does he want to die so bad? Jesus Lord. Yeah, everything's pointing to you doing it. Everything's pointing to her. You're just making assumptions. You don't have any proof. Why does he keep refuting me? Why does he keep doing that? Why? It's fine. Oh? I said it's fine. Oh? Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. Okay, well thank you for admitting it. She admitted it just now, right? She admitted she's Mahiro's killer, right? But is this right? Even though Fiohiko was the one arguing with this, Peckle just admitted it so freely. Huh? If you admit it, this ends now. Wait, did she admit it? Why do I feel like I don't want to vote now? I don't, huh? Hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. Can right. We until after the voting. This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Peko's motive. Right. In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight. That's what I was thinking too. Right? Then. Why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm. So it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question, I uh -huh. must say it was for the sake of justice. Hold on. Hold the fuck up. Hold on. So is she the is she the justice thing with the mask? 
Is she the justice serial killer that Sonya was talking about? Oh my god. Oh my god. In order to protect the justice oh, of this world. Her face changing. She's about to do a a, a, a whole toko. <laughs> I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. Mm. There is only one reason I kill. Mm. Justice. Yeah, so she's a serial killer. Okay. What are you saying? Justice. Yeah. Makes humans human. Yeah. Okay. That human being should be proud of. She's Justice a serial killer. Eternal son. Uh huh. Enduring moon. Great. The protective father and the smiling mother. This is just taking a turn for everything. Right. Has ever disappeared from this world? The world would immediately freeze. Mm -mm. Smiles would vanish. I will not allow that. Okay. Just stop it. Oh. This must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. Babyface has something to do with this. I'm telling you to stop it. Babyface has something to do with this. I must continue the fight to protect justice. Oh. Could she be? Oh. As the light of justice shines upon my mask. I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. What? What the fuck? Complete. Wow. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. This is this is turning into something else. Sparkling justice. This is turning into something else. Let's execute justice. What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> exactly. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am sparkling justice. In the name of sparkling, shining justice, I have come to deliver justice. Oh my God. What's going on? What's this? Chill. Why? A pickle finally snapped. Everyone, please be careful. I'm co I, I am confused. Who claims to be an ally of justice? Oh my god. Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. She is wow. supposed to be. But. Huh? But how's my hero a criminal? Justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask. How's my hero a criminal? The dividing line, just like various idols. The sun is revered because it lies just beyond your face. Justice what? Should also be the same. What? I don't get it, but. This is yes. Really crazy. This is I I can't even follow it. What the heck is this? Pekko is the killer? Why is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events. Why is it turning out like this? Hey, now's not the time for you to be sleeping. Right. Hey, look, it's a killer. Huh. This again? Huh? Sleep popping? So. Answer to my previous question. Right, you never answered it. Kill Mahiru? This world must always be bathed in the light of We're not getting an answer. We're not, not allowed we're not. one shadow. We're not getting an answer. Eliminated immediately. Great. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Evil? Are you saying Mahiru is Right, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Then you must have played the game. Am I right? Did she? I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Oh? And the reason you killed Mahiru was. To protect justice, of course. This is turning into a bad anime. Like, what? Like, what? I. I whatever. To protect whatever. Justice, I have become its merciless sword and. Executed justice. How many times are they gonna say that? How many times are they gonna say justice? Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath. <laughs> and she's crying again. She's Great. So gross. Is this your true identity? Right. Identity? <laughs> is it? I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. Wow. <laughs> okay. I can't stand this anymore. Right, let's just, let's end, just end this, end can this it? Already. It's becoming cringy. End it? 
He's right. This. We need to end this already. The killer. In the end, there's no mistake that it was Pekka all along. Let's go over this incident one more oh, time. Oh, God. End this. Okay. So now we got the closing argument because it's starting to get cringy a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. So then. Let's see. Killer forged two letters. Put that there. Let's see. What did the killer leave next to the body? It was definitely the mask. Here's okay, there we go. Case. So we got it. The incident began this morning. Mm -hmm. Mahiru spoke to Hyoka. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome Murder mm -hmm. The video game provided to us as the mode. She Correct. probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. And try to figure out what's going Hyoka on. accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. Mm-hmm. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. Yep. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan by preparing mm. a specific item. They plan to manipulate the two's actions. The letters. That there we go. Was the letters. They mm. sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoka. Right. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. Mm-hmm. And the letter Hyoka received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing uh -huh. different times. Uh-huh, two different the times. was able to lure them to the beach house separately. And then knock her Hyoka ass out. Totally trusted that <laughs> showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said. Mm-hmm. Got knocked was out. into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. Mm. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet so they could frame her as the killer later. Yep. And then she at comes at 2.30. She was completely unaware that she'd been targeted for murder. Mm-hmm. Approaching her from behind. Oh, poor Mahiru. The defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon. The metal mm. bat was left at the scene of the crime. Jeez. And she died instantly. The back of Mahiru's head. And with that, she took her last breath. According Jesus. To autopsy, Mahiru died instantly. So she probably never knew who killed her. Oh, poor baby. With mm. that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. And then move her body they on the door. Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Uh-huh. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really mm. sure why. My guess is it's something similar to a calling card. Right. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. And then they couldn't wash it off. Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, right. The shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the mm. killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used they something used the else water. to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles uh -huh. inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before uh -huh. the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, exactly. They had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the, in the trash, trash can, can, which I saw. Watering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. Hmm. After the killer washed off the blood, and poor, <laughs> poor Hyoko just knocked out. Hyoko was in. Hmm. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied before him. Wow. After some and she time, woke up and saw the body. The drug used on Hyoko wore off, and she woke hmm. up. And saw that. Can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, Jesus. she made plans to see Mahi, who lay dead right in front of her. Mm. And then that's why she was crying. Considered a murder suspect, Kyoko fled from the beach house. Hmm. Because and left the footprints. Left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. And it almost worked. I was thinking that it was her for a second. The killer finally came out of the surfboard case. Place the gummy bear. That they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, mm. placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Because she doesn't eat the lemon ones. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand. Mm -hmm. So they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. 
However, mm -hmm. that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used the bamboo sword. The bamboo sword they uh -huh. always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, mm -hmm. and climbed up. And used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. Mm. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. Mm-hmm. And then met up with us so like nothing happened. Beach house and appeared before us wow. Like nothing had happened. But wow. But hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. See, so it came so wet. The killer met up with us. They uh -huh. said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. Mm. So how about So it? now we know. This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Peko Peko Yama? Mm-hmm. It's you, bitch. It's you. Ooh! Ooh! Why? I see. And what of it? What do you mean, what of it? I haven't done anything to be ashamed Okay, she gotta go now. She gotta go. She gotta go. I punished evil in the name of justice. How is she evil? No reason to condemn me. Whatever. Right. So we can freaking kill this weird crazy bitch. There's I mean, I'm with her on that. You can kill me. Just what? Never be okay, never mind. Should all know she meant well. She meant metaphorically. Okay. What are you saying? To protect what's okay. most important to you. You must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Which I is I don't get it. Right. Justice must carry on in order to keep justice to keep me alive you all must give up your lives excuse me i'm not giving up a damn thing are you serious right not serious it's justice if i fall here who will combat the evils of this world who knows the police well uh, well no not the police <laughs> now Follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all and save my life to protect justice. No, thank you. Carry on justice. No, thank you. We'll live in chaos. If we let Peko go, we're all gonna get killed. We're not gonna let her go. We are not letting her go. Mm -mm. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. Are we giving her up? Her anymore. Let's vote already and execute Thank her. you. Let's let's get to it. However, what? Do that, Why? What? Why? Oh God! I heard your story. Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? Now then. Oh Jesus! In front of you and cast your I was about to say, let's stop procrastinating. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> okay. Such heart pounding excitement. Thank you. Let's get to the freaking ball. I was about to say, Sonya, we're not about to stop nothing. God. She already admitted it. Get her ass out. Sheesh. End it. What? A little more time? What? What? What the fuck? Pardon me. Can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. Do not tell me that this woman is not the killer, okay? And that this is just all a ruse. Please, please don't tell me that. Please don't tell me that this is all an act. Please don't tell me that. Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes. Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Huh? Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Peko is the killer. Didn't we just do a whole thing? It's true. However, However what? A serial killer enthusiast. You're wondering if Peko is really sparkling justice. Am I right? Or is she acting like it? Hey, Miss Sony isn't a serial killer enthusiast. Yes, she is. She just has a little more passion about them than most. Oh, yes, she is. That makes her an enthusiast. Right. Honestly, Felt strange to me too. I mean, there's what? a distinct difference between what we know about sparkling justice and Petco, right? So is she pretending to be? You know, Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. Justice 
complete. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! I see, so that's what it was. I think I've got the difference between the serial killer and Pekko. The nationality? I see. Huh. According to what Sonia said. It was a native language. Native language. So I tried to translate it. If she had a translator, that means it wasn't written in English, right? Okay. Yes. The magazine I read was written in Spanish, so... Okay. Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. All right. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both... From Spain? What? Okay, I, I, I am just... Who's the killer? Who's the killer, man? God damn. Like, can we, can we, can we get to it? God. All this time, I completely misunderstood. When I first heard about those serial killers, Genocide Jack and Sparkling Justice, I just assumed both serial killers were from the same country. But that wasn't the case. If so... Pekko, you're not Sparkling Justice. Huh. No way that's possible. What? Or, you insist that you're Sparkling Justice. Can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Right. Be able to do that? No? It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. So what? However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And huh? Even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. What? My duty has already been finished. My what? My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. What? Are you talking about? Uh -huh. Looks like she's back to normal. I, <laughs> y'all, what is the conclusion to this case? Okay, we have been here for hours. What is the conclusion to this case? That mask has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. What do you mean? So fulfilled its purpose too late? What are you getting at? Right. You know that you've already cast your votes is what it means. What do you mean? Be clearer. We're asking you what your purpose was. Right. I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. What do you think? Okay, all right. So she's not going to say anything more than that. She's not going to say anything more than that. Which means someone else used her then? Huh. Of course. A tool cannot do anything on its own. What? I finally understand. I don't. I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. Uh-huh. Besides Pekko and Kyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. Are they talking about Kuyuhiko? Because I was thinking that Babyface was there, too. Someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. Him getting mad? The proof that there was one more person at the scene of the crime is the body discovery announcement, maybe? I see. Because there had to be three. Are you talking about the body discovery announcement? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. I mean... Fanakuma say so earlier. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. Correct. In this particular case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If okay. In case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but. I see. That leaves us one person short. So hmm. that means there was one more person in the beach house. Plus. The fact that Monaco okay, so it was the truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it so can it was through Hiko of the trial, like an accomplice, for example. So, I was, so I was right that they was helping yeah. each other then. That's not it, huh? Huh? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. Okay. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that. So, therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? And I'm thinking that it's Fuyuhiko, right? Because he was the only one getting mad the entire time. You bitch. You're the only one. Okay, okay. So, I was right to suspect him then. I see. Hmm. Now I finally see the connection. The connection between the motive and the incident. 
Uh huh. It's the motive. It's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. They said it's nonfiction. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? Huh. No, the events that occurred in the game should have definitely occurred in real life. There's overwhelming proof of that, too. Because. Everything. I mean, everything. Like, come on. Because of this, right? Right? Um, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay. Okay, so the proof of that is not just the photo, because the photo is showing that they were there together. But, not that. That one? Okay, there we go. That photo. I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder. But, uh -huh. there's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is the ending prize. Man, this 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 is coming everywhere. Game are not actual in-game screenshots. Okay, so I was kind of right choosing that too. Like that was the actual photo. Right. Oh. Cause you was guy F. You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? Uh huh. Because whoever beat the game first. Uh huh. Uh huh. What's in that envelope? Cause you never said anything. It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? So I was right. If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Mm. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Hey, hey, okay. Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? <laughs> who cares? Look, I know. Heiko is the killer, right? Yes. We sure did. Wow. So you did his bidding. I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill Not even the will to kill But you want to serve out justice. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. So, what's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? Right. I'm not the killer. I am about to lose my damn mind. I'm about to lose it. We already voted. We already voted. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. The true killer who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? what oh my god. I'm just so done That's with this. For all along. With this. No, I have no aim. Okay, nobody. My young all right. Does. What? My young master planned this from the start. For you to kill? That is the truth of this case. Wow. Was well, that the true ending to this case? You cannot undo the vote. That's a problem. Wow. If this allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. Right. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just me. Oh. That's nuts. No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! Right! How would Peko be a tool in the first place? And why was she- She's a legitimate human being! Uh, is she? I don't know. It's for Monokuma. This is- uh, this is all a lot. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. I don't even know how this is gonna go. I really don't. I really have no idea how this is gonna plan out. I'm in a bind. And what a bind it is. I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Are you serious? Are you serious? Although, there were some twists and turns along the way. The one who killed Mahiro Kalizimi is... Hold on a second. Okay, wait, I was so, so sorry. I'm just hesitating. There's no need to hesitate. No matter how you look at it, Peko's the killer. Why? Why? Well, that's obvious. You're not a tool. You're a freaking human being. If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying, you're wrong. Just because you just don't know. You just don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. People such as myself only exist to be tools. Hey. What does she mean, Fuyuhiko? Yeah. Peko and I grew up together. Oh my god, what? Um, are you two childhood friends then? 
No, it's completely different than that. Right after I was born and abandoned by my parents, the Cruzuri clan took me in. They gave me a reason to exist. I am to fulfill my duty as my young master's property. What? Property? It means she's a hitman arranged by my clan to work directly under me. Yo, what the What the hell is going on? What? My young master is attacked. I must defend him as his shield. Wow. If he intends to kill. I must be his sword. Wow. That is my only reason for living before I am human. I am my young master's tool. And look at look at and foremost. Look at little baby um Peko and baby face. Look. Baby face got the same face when he was a baby and didn't change at all. <laughs> Until this body of mine can no longer move. I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. Wow. Wow. Yes. You are wrong. You're not a tool, Peko, because if you are a tool, then what was all that time we spent together? Nothing. Huh? I was ordered by my young master to behave, just as I was ordered to interact with you all. What? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. That is why you were hiding your relationship, you mean. No. It's not as if that started the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, my young master has always told me to hide our relationship. My young master loathes relying on his household's power. He even hates me, the tool given to him by his household. Oh, wow. No matter what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. Then, the one who tried to kill Mahiro wasn't you. It was Fuyuhiko? It is what it is. When I thought I beat that game, I was suddenly given these photographs. Damn it, I don't understand. Why is my sister in these photos? And she's she's covered in blood. What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even know if my sister is dead? You tried to confirm it with Mahiro, and that's why you wanted to talk to her. Yeah, I sent her the photo because I wanted to make sure she'd respond. But she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me, too. I'm pretty sure my hero was confused too. I mean, we all were. Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know this incident had happened. That's why even if I were told that we're connected to it, there's no way we could accept it. You know, when my hero spoke to Ibuki, she mentioned something about this. Oh, sorry, I actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. Wait, huh? You're not gonna go, Mahira? If you wanna talk about it there, I'd be totally fine. Um, it's pretty important, so you know, it'd be troubling to involve the others. So you sound pretty serious. Seriously or not, I can't really do anything about it on my own, so I wanted someone to think about it with me. If I need to make amends, I would, but I don't even know how. Are you serious? That definitely sounds serious. I could cancel my beach plans for you. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's important that everyone gets along anyway. Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's always tomorrow. Hmm. Oh. She wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Hyoko was the only one who accepted her invitation. I should have gone too, but it was rather convenient for you, wasn't it, Fuyuhiko? If you can make use of their plan to meet each other alone, you can easily lure Mahiro into a trap, right? By calling both of them to the beach house, you were able to pin the blame on Hyoko. Seriously, what the heck? An eye for an eye, that's the world I live in. My little sister was murdered. If the reason that happened was because of some person here, I have no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so, my young master thought of a plan and ex executed it. I wanted to use a bat as a murder weapon because in the game, that's what was used to kill girl E. For revenge, clubbing the person to death the same way my sister was killed just seemed to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it was the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. So that is why you killed Mahiro with the bat? But still, I believed her up until the very last minute. That was that the game was just a work of fiction. But even so, that bitch. Hey, if that game is actually real, are you the one who killed girl E? Hey, I don't want to hear about that. The fact that your sister was killed is terrible. It's unfortunate, but you shouldn't have killed that girl. Who cares about that? Just answer me. What do you know about that game? You had no right to do that. Nobody has the right to judge others for their crimes. Revenge is just wrong. Want me to be honest? This whole time, I was acting like a coward. Even after I called over Mahiro, I was still trying to find an excuse to not go through with the plan. But after she said that to me, that all went out the window. I got really pissed off and grabbed the metal bat that I hid under the bench. But at that moment, Young Master called for me and made me kill Mahiro. Huh? huh? Young Master, I am finished. What? What? You are serious? Are you saying that you killed because you were ordered to? A tool is not defined by its will, but by its actions. I don't get this at all. 
Of course you don't understand, because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. So everyone just pretends to understand and pretend to be understood. Quiet. Hey, you're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll be quiet. Afterward, just as my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the scene of the crime. However, I also considered the possibility of being found out. So in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make use of that serial killer story. You insisted that you were sparkling justice in order to make us hasten our boats? So, we fell for it. We fell for her trick all along. That's right, you guys have made the wrong decision. You voted me, a mere tool, as the killer, unaware that my young master was the true killer. Hold on, don't act like our loss has been decided yet. No, it should be decided already. Isn't that right, Monokuma? I'll admit, all this talk about Peko being a tool sounds pretty persuasive. When you approach it from various angles, it makes sense that Fuyuhiko is actually the true killer. Hold on, I'm telling you to hold on! I see, so for Peko, Fuyuhiko himself is your true hope then. On his behalf, you killed Mahiro, and now you're trying to sacrifice us so that you could protect him. You would only go that far because he's your one and only hope. Wrong, I have no hope. I am just a tool. Well, even if we ask her, she'll probably just play dumb anyway. So I'm gonna ask every someone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what do you think? About what? Is Peko just a tool to you? Using that tool, surviving by sacrificing Peko and the rest of us. Is that your hope? What? Hold, on. Hold on, what's the use of asking something like that? What? You seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Peko, be honest. Are you trying to protect Fuyuhiko of your own free will? Hey. Oh? Can you tell me the truth? The fact that she killed on your behalf? The fact that she lied to us by acting like the killer? Are those all things you ordered her to do? Is that the truth? I, oh, Fihiko, I know you hate our guts, but if you listen to Pekka, we're all gonna die. Uh, hello, young master, you just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders, you just have to tell them that. Fihiko, you mentioned it before, but... You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person, because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are right now. Huh? There's no need to hesitate, young master. Please just tell them the truth. Young master, you were the one who ordered me. I just did as I told, because I'm a tool. Fihiko, this can be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way, you'll still lose Peko, but if you insist you're the killer, just as she said, you can sacrifice us and survive alone. Or would you rather reject Peko and fight alongside us against despair? Which one will be your hope? Let us hear what you have to say. Oh? Young master, I am finished. Mm. You. What the hell did you do? Wow. You already know, right? What's going to happen mm. after you kill someone? I did mm. it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Wow. Hey. Wow. Echo. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional mm. relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Can wow. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. She won't let that happen. That is impossible. She won't let that happen. Shut up. I'm ordering you not to worry about me. There is mm. no way. There's no way. Worry about you. I mm. am. My young it's like she's brainwashed. It's like to protect my young master. It's like she was told this from birth, so that is all that she believes in. Without an owner, the tool serves no purpose. Wow. Damn it, we are done with that crap. Mm. Why won't you listen to what I'm saying? Mm. Regardless, I will not flee. Wow. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. Oh, we will. Then why did you? I have a plan. Mm. A plan? To set up Hyoko. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. Wow. You idiot. What do you intend to do? Set up somebody else? To fulfill my duty as your tool. And then die. Please go. Hyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry. Jesus. You better run away. Got it? Jesus. Just forget about me. Forget about the Kuzuryu clan. You better escape. Oh, he cares about her. So how about it, Fuyuhiko? Please tell me the truth. Sorry. I'm sorry, Pekko. I guess I couldn't go through with it after all. Master. Mm. If that's actually what I have to do to survive, I just feel ashamed of myself. I, it mean I can't live without depending on something. It just feel dis I just feel disgusted with myself. And if I admit that, it means you are really just a tool to me. 
How many times did I tell you? I don't want a tool given to me by the Kuzuri clan. Mm. This is how it turned out. And here I thought it'd be more brutal and heartless. Man, how disappointing. Which means everything happened thanks to her meddlesome actions. There's no way a human that meddlesome could ever be considered a tool. Monokuma, you knew all along, didn't you? You knew about what Peko and Fuyihiko discussed. Well, it's obvious now. I mean, that's why you have surveillance cameras. You were just having fun, huh? Man, even if it was an act of desperation, Peko's claim was surprisingly interesting. You're actually the first to try to influence the outcome of the trial like that. But too bad, you're definitely the killer. Peko, the tool with the heart, is the killer. Huh, I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. Even though you did all that to provide me the chance to survive, but I... I had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? Young master. young master, you have a kind heart despite being a Yakuza. That's why your question, you question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself, I believed you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together since ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. Huh? Then why? Even so. Even so, I wanted you to escape. I wanted to protect you. I'm terribly sorry. I will not be able to serve by your side until the very end, young master. Oh, oh, he cared about her. I'm sorry for what I've done to you all too. It may be a selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please do not cause a senseless killing. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, Pekko. That will do, Monokuma. Why don't you start it already? Never feel despair. Ah, uh, as long as I'm a tool, I'm fully prepared to die. So, so cool. cool. But will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? People who act as proud as you always shed tears of despair in the end. Now then, let's begin. Oh, please, please permit me to make one more final selfish request. Oh. Didn't I tell you not to call me young master? I want you to remember. The tool, Peko Peko Yama, who used to stand beside you. I would like it if you remembered that. That's it. How many times do you have to keep? I don't need any tools. You did say that. Then let's begin. The punishment time brimming with despair. Why don't you get it yet? This time for the ultimate swordsman, Peko Peko Yama. You stayed by my side all this time. Why don't you get it? I prepared a special punishment for you. I never needed a sword or a shield. I never I ne needed... Aww. Tool. Mm. So... You didn't... need to become a tool. Aww. Let's give it everything and he's just got. going through with it. You just... You just needed to be yourself. Mm. I you never wanted a tool. tool. I just wanted you. Aww. Only you. Aww. Master? He loved her. Why? Why couldn't mm. you understand? Mm. We've always been together ever since we were kids. Oh wow. Oh, it's punishment. Time. He loved her. Oh my god. Please, Peko. Don't go. Wow. I need you. Oh. Don't leave me. Oh man. Young master. Oh jeez. Now 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 I'm feeling kind of bad. Now I'm kind of feeling bad that this is happening now. Oh, I didn't want to see Babyface cry like that. Oh. It wasn't his fault that, you know, his family made her become a tool. Great. And look at the setting. Look. It's like she's going to war. And he can't get to her. Oh, wow. Wow. One woman army. Making her fight through all of this. And he's, oh, she, he has her like a little puppet, I just realized. He has her like a little puppet fighting everyone through. Oh, baby face. And he was trying to get there to her. Oh, oh. He's really 
bad. This shouldn't be allowed. People dying so easily, falling like dominoes. You bastard. What is this? This can't be. This is a lie, right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. For heaven's sake, this is just the worst. Jeez, what a waste. This conclusion, what a waste. This is why she should have just discussed it with me. This was, it was supposed to be a clash between two hosts, but it was crushed into something so unpalatable. Oh. You, you're still talking about that? The hell is wrong with you? Aren't you pissed that two of your friends got killed? I am pissed, and I even feel sad and hopeless. But still, it's going to be all right. The despair is hope is worthless. Even this despair is just a ladder to a bright, shining future that awaits us. The higher the ladder, the brighter we can shine. That is the unmistakable truth. Calling me a ladder, huh? You say some pretty interesting things. In a way, your misguided thoughts of what hope should be remind me of him. Yeah, Makoto. I don't really understand what you're saying. Anyway, I shall make a de declaration. We will definitely destroy you. The hopes of all the ultimates here will definitely, completely, utterly destroy you. There won't even be a strand of cotton left when we're done with you. That's your future. How much longer are you planning to say such stupid things? Don't you understand? Even Fuyuhiko died, do you know? Not yet. He's still alive. What? Everyone, Fuyuhiko's still alive. Are you, what? What? Where? Frantically, we rushed over to Fuyuhiko's side. So he's still there. Oh my god. This, this. Oh my god. Wow. Is he gonna be okay? I don't even know. Hey! You need to save him! Hey! Wow, so they got they made they made Peko believe that she killed her master, which is the one thing that she didn't want to happen, which is the ultimate despair for her. And he's alive. Wow. Oh, so he's dying. Can't you do anything about it? Right. So he's not dead yet. Hmm. Serves him right. So Were you filled with hope at the thought of saving her yourself? That's why you ended up like that. What are you so laid back about? You need to hurry up and save him. A surprise order? Why do I have to burn my precious calories just to save some Yakuza scum? It's your duty to save him. Duty? Because it's written in the school trip rules. Right. Uh-huh. They alone will be executed, bitch. So go ahead and help him. If only the Blacken gets executed, the Fuyuhiko shouldn't be allowed to be executed. Well, if I could, I would do something about it right now. But since my magic stick was taken away, I'm practically powerless. But you, you should be able to do it. Oh? I guess I have no choice. Well, there's no way I can violate a rule, even if it's me. Fine then, I'll save him. Really? I was actually gonna do that all along, so I've already prepared for this. Prepared? And that's when it happened. A siren began ringing from out of nowhere and gradually grew closer and closer. So now he's sending out the ambulance to help him. An ambulance? Oh, great. Okay. Oh my goodness. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation So he's gonna be gone for a day? So he's gonna be gone for a day? Is that what they're saying? And after that. The ambulance containing Monokuma and Fuyuhiko vanished from our sight. Is it really gonna be okay to leave this to Monokuma? It can't be helped. It's not like there was any other way. Perhaps. He's gonna be fine. He's probably gonna get better and come back to us again. <laughs> You're right. He's definitely gonna come back and talk a lot of smack as if nothing happened. Then all we can do is wait. Why do we have to wait for him? I mean, he caused my hero's death, you know? Forever. However, we must put that aside since Peko has already been punished. Or else we will not be able to advance forward. Fall. There are no second chances in life. We cannot return to what has already transpired. There is no other way than to move forward, like an arrow of light piercing through the darkness. I guess. Things aren't as exciting if a shit stir like him ain't around. I didn't realize it, but I was wishing for that too. From the bottom of my heart, I really want him to return. I don't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. What the? It's... So he's gonna be gone for 24 hours. And so the class trial ended but we still can't see the real ending that we really want yet. What will have happened to us by then? No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future, not even the speck, as if we were in a boat floating unreliably in a vast dark sea. We were just left there, alone. Only one word could explain our situation, despair. We couldn't find a more suitable word than that. How many days we got left? How many days we got left, man? How many? We got 15 days left, cool. Until this whole island explodes. Oh? 
You guys can see it, right? Oh? Can see this countdown too? Yeah, this whole time. Some people are already gone. We took our time preparing the hope fragments, but now we're no longer able to gather them. Jesus. Honestly, I'm not so sure anymore. Wait, if we're gonna live? If we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. For those kids, the huh. option is hope, and which is despair. <laughs> I guess there's no time to hesitate. Right. If this countdown reaches zero, that we're time dead. will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. What lies beyond that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair. Wow. The continuation of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That is like the tragedy in the first one. I'm confused. I'm confused. That cannot be allowed. Wow. We must prevent that by any means necessary. Even if we have to pay the ultimate price, I will definitely prevent it by any means. Everything okay. is for the sake of a future filled with hope. I am just so... My brain is going a million times. Like, I can't even say what my theory is. So now chapter two is done. I gotta say, this was a long ass chapter. This was long as hell. So now we got 12 students left. This was confusing. All right, y'all, so that is the end of chapter two. That whole chapter threw me for a whole loop, okay? My theories were everywhere. I was guessing everyone and everybody and everything as why this happened. Because Mihiro was so nice. Like, there was no reason to kill her, but it was kind of sad seeing that Pekko just wanted to serve for him. Like it was like she was, it was like she was brainwashed into believing that she's not even like a person, and she's just here to serve him. And he needed her, like he loved this girl. Okay, so it just, it just hurt in the end. And it was, it, it was such a long trial too. It was, it was so long. It was, it was so long. I was, I was slightly getting irritated with how long it was. I guess we're not gonna see baby face for a whole nother 24 hours so who knows what's gonna happen so if you guys like the video make sure you leave a like on it subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll be back with another episode of this and yes i will be playing the last of us when it comes out it has to come out first though okay <laughs> so i'll see you guys next time and deuces